So every morning you're going to get up, you're going to open your little doors, and inside will be some beads, 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewelry Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry maker, it's so lovely to be with you today. What's my name? My name is Rebecca Reddickin, but you can call me Becky, and it is a real delight to be with you this evening for multiple reasons. First, I'm some guest designer, but I'm going to introduce her in a bit just because we're plugging her in. Not like she's some sort of robot or anything, I mean, like to a talk back and everything. Um, we have got so many goodies coming up for you this evening. 
So you've obviously already opened your baskets with those incredible books that the wonderful Rachel Norris brought to us. But also, we have got some really special gemstones. This is special. Aquamarine in brand new cubes. Brand new, never before seen. I wish to hold them out. Oh, sorry, never before seen by me. Apparently they have been on air once. We were on the lane. Never! I think they are so beautiful, because when I expect to see cubes, I'm expected to see something absolutely huge. But these are slightly dainty. Dainty and delicate. Actually, speaking of uh, rhombus shapes and squares, I have actually got um, tomorrow 5 uh, p.m. pick. Um, I've got two, but one of them is to do with cubes, actually. Just thought I'd throw that out there whilst we're chatting. Um, I have got for you your wonderful bright bold. And they are bold, aren't they, for an aquamarine? These ones are coming up for you in um, tonight's 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock deal the must-have tonight. I've got to show you as well a couple of stranders. This strand took me by surprise actually. I've not seen a strand like this in quite some time. Guess the gem. Yeah, you guessed it. Ooh. You guessed it. It is your incredible mystic topaz. Isn't that beautiful? That's coming up at 19.30, Prox. I have also got coming up as my first star buy, not one strand, who oh no, but two strands of your Iolite. Coming up for you in half an hour. Yeah. I love them together. Before it though, Let's get started with a little bit of miss it or miss out. How have we never done that before? I think it's just the way that Liam fed me that line. Yes. Do you remember that off of, um, what was that? A little bit of the Mambo number five and, and Bob the Builder did it as well, didn't he? Yeah. And I swear he got a number one with it, didn't he? I think so. I think he got. Bob the Builder has more number ones than James Blunt. Is that true? <laughs> Is that true? Interesting facts is the, t is the text in now that we've just come up with it, live telly and all that. I want your interesting facts. Bob the Builder can be one, but it doesn't have to be that. It does not have to be. Could be about whatever you fancy. Gemstone related, life related, Int little mix related, of course it can. What would, your, what would yours, you know, your go-to fact arena be? You don't have to come up with a fact. Animal facts, I like it, love it. Feel free to text in. We, yours of course would have to be dams, or planes, or romance, because those are uh, Liam's three favorite things. Liam's got a fact for us. By the way, if you don't know who my producer is, it's Liam, yeah. Liam, go on. My fact about romance is I have none. Oh. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, you little love. Um, we are going to start with Miss It, Miss Out. Where am I starting, Liam? Let's get started. Ooh, double drilled gemstones. Every colour you could hope, pretty much. Multicolour onyx with your two drill holes here. Perfect for your seed beads. And I may or may not have some seed beads in this hour that would go rather nicely with it. Oh, yeah. What do you think about the seed bead advent calendar? <gasps> we'll show you a VT about it. If you've not got a clue what I'm talking about, we'll show you that in a little bit. We've got 100 carats worth here of the double drilled. It's last of stock, 6.95. Pot spoiler alert, sorry, 6.95. About to come in and on screen now. That is your lockdown deal on this one. It is a reduced price and it is for that double work because obviously we're drilling them two times. She's all plugged in. Her batteries are charged. It is my guest designer this evening. For my first time ever, I'm very excited. It's a lady who not only has beautiful makes, but also, I think quite a nice name. It is the wonderful <laughs> Rebecca Spencer. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, everybody. It's really lovely to be finally working with I you. I know. Rebecca. 
Okay, for anyone who's not met you before, <laughs> give us, um, how did you get into jewellery making? Watching jewellery maker. Was that it? Yeah. yeah. I was off sick long term mm -hmm. and found, just like so many other people, found jewellery maker uh, channel hopping. And I bought my first kit, yeah. and uh, that's where the story began, and yeah. I've been an addict ever since. Can you remember what your first kit had in it that yes. attracted you to it? Tiger's Eye and Peridot. Ah. And are they still firm favourites? Uh, no. No, you've changed, you won't. Because we were talking before, you're really into garnet now, um, aren't you? Yeah, garnet's my favourite, just because Which of how it. many different types there are. Yeah, that's yeah. That's my first piece I ever made. Oh, really? <laughs> so how many years ago are we talking here? Seven and a half, eight years. Wow. Wow. And, um, That's your first ever piece? Yes. My first ever piece looks like a dog stepped on it. Well, That's I beautiful. That does. You, should, you should see the back, it's horrendous. <laughs> but I keep that as a reminder of where I've come from. Which is lovely. And, That's uh, really nice. One day I might take it to pieces and remake it the way I'd want it now, but... Oh, no, I think it's nice to keep from. it yeah. as a little yeah. reminder of how you've progressed and grown. The lovely Rebecca Spencer is with us all evening, and as I mentioned, she absolutely loves and adores garnet, and we have got garnet in one of the kits. I think these are kind of our old school kits, and I will give you a little bit of a heads up, and I can't think of the last time I've said this. Both kits tonight will be under £15 both kits and they are both genuine gemstone kits as well so that's coming up for you low stock on the double drills now so good luck to every single one of you my gosh i've got some really cool things beside me pearl Ooh. let's i've never seen a strand like this before i saw it in the picture and i thought i knew what it was i was wrong oh my gosh this is so different to what i thought so these are your cowrie shells. You know the real natural shells? It has got a giraffe print about it, Kerry. You're so right. I love this for a number of reasons. First off, double drilled. There's a drill hole here and a drill hole here. Let me hold that down for you. Can you see how they're curved because they are the real shell? So they've got curvature to them. They've got the texture on one side, the white bright side. How perfect, therefore, is that for a cuff? $12.95, close-out deal. Look, because it sort of hugs you. See that? Oh, my gosh, they're fabulous. I love that design because they're not flat, you see, because they curve with the shell. Oh, my gosh, I think they're gorgeous. And as you can see, double drill hole. So you can kind of use these with, even if you just did a jump ring in between, it's going to give a bit more fluidity, so it's going to sit even better against the skin. Eight left. I've got literally eight left. That's it. Eight left, seven left now. Well done. Sussex, you've just checked out. Six left now. £12.95. I think they are fab. I think they are absolutely beautiful. £12.95. Double drilled, last three of those ones available. Good luck, one and all. And you could have them on the white side too, couldn't you? Let's bring you... I've never seen a kyanite in this shape ever. We've got 10. Kyanite, tricky gemstone to cut, as you know. One of the biggest wastages when you're cutting it. Because when you cut it, due to the cleavage points, um, when you're cutting it, there's a lot of waste, so, th so the yields are low. So you might start off with a, a piece of rough cut to this size. You may well come out with something in actual cut form this side because of the structure of it. It's a little bit like a deck of cards. I have never, ever seen... <sighs> I think that looks so expensive. Oh my gosh, I want it channel set. I want it channel set. And look at that first water-like quality. You do not expect that. Rebecca? Yeah? I'm a fan of hey, Kai and I. Are you, is it one that you like? I do love it. I've got a huge rough piece. Do you? And it flakes just yes. by touching it. Yes. How on earth they cut it. I really have no idea. It's a magic it, it's skill, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. I'd love to go to a cutting house and sit and watch it being done. I really would. I think it'd 
be really interesting to see as well because as mm. you say you know in your rough piece literally pieces flake off and now one in the studio here the same mm. thing happens pieces flake so it would be kind of interesting I read an article once about how it was um, a bit of a heartbreaking gemstone to cut because there is so much waste oh. and you can imagine that yeah, can't you, can. you you can. can imagine it but when the look is that sublime that price is incredible $24.95 the quality wow the quality of colour even against that pure white background is astonishing I think channel set with this what might you do with this shape please Rebecca um the sort of coins channel set would be good um but you could macrame with that I do a nice a, a wire macrame with it I think so Ooh, that's that a good idea settle in the middle of the knots that's a lovely idea um, and also that will protect them a bit won't it yes actually? it would yes that's they do really need protecting because they are such a soft stone mm, but that's a really good they're idea so beautiful I think that is divine. I am a big fan of this. I don't know if any of you bought um, at the Sterling Silver weekend those earrings. We had some Sterling Silver earrings that were kind of a quirky heart shape and they had a post that you put your gemstone onto. So it wasn't a loop to add on, it was a post that you glue in. That's literally all I do when I bought those. I would literally just, one, through the post, glue it in. That would be my earring done because I think they are so strong and bold in their appearance. They're going to sing by themselves. That is divine. If a bit of blue is for you. Don't forget, I've got my aquamarine at eight o'clock. I've also got a little bit of a special blue treat coming up which entirely randomly Rebecca's wearing. So we'll chat more about that as we bring it to you. <laughs> Literally, Liam printed off the Sarbari sheet and he was going, oh, I like this. And Rebecca was like, oh, oh, I've got this and this, which I'm wearing. <laughs> um, so let's move on. I've got more treats. Let's go. This is delicate and dainty. Wow. If I were to say to you, micro-fasted blue sapphire, you wouldn't expect this evenness of colour, you wouldn't expect this brightness, you wouldn't expect that transparency. It is in fact a quartz, but the colour I would say is very much connective of that, of our traditional sapphire. You've got the sparkle, you've got the shine, you've got the transparency, you've got a bargain at £6.95. <coughs> Microfasted quartz in my day and jewellery maker was about the £19 mark. Um, today though, £6.95. Speaking of quartz, if you are into the power of gems, this is a powerful gemstone. The most powerful. Mm-hmm. We have got for you here, coming up as a star by at seven, big, bold, strong, powerful pieces of quartz. Keep Danny through on that very low in stock now, I've got to move on. Let's go to oh, Green Event Tree. I've literally got seven. That colour, is that a treated colour? That's what I thought. It's totally natural. But I would always, always, always rather check natural colour on an adventuring because nine times out of ten it will be treated. For a natural, for a natural, totally natural adventuring, I'll be entirely honest, for an entirely natural adventuring, $14.95, dollars JM price point. Oh, it's going under a fiver. It's going under a fiver. I've literally got seven of these, seven only. Four pounds and 95 pence. We had 300, there's literally seven left, that's it. For a natural adventuring, 14 95 16.95, absolutely happy days. Rebecca's looking at the screen with this twinkle in her eye. <laughs> what do you like about this one? I just, I love, love, love. Dainty gemstones. Right, love that. For, for accenting larger cabochons in wire work. Mm. You just, if you can pick something that takes up the colour in a cabochon and just accent mm. the marking in the, cab, in the cab or accent the line of your weave, I, oh, I love them. Absolutely love them. Does it takes it to a whole other level? It does. Keep dying through, that's about to sell out. I am over allocated. Let me bring to you a special gem right now. This is big and bold and extremely rare. 
do 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 street stores oh wow okay we're gonna go under 20 on this it hasn't been it shouldn't be but it is a miss it miss out we're going quickly do da but we're bringing to you today 70 carats for 19.95 i've literally got five of them left because i've just had some people checking out i will give you a few heads up that aren't star buys today but i have got a very very special luxury for less hour whereby i have got turquoise pieces that are larger than this Yep, from Mexico. Also, I have got the most epic selection of zircons I've brought to you in quite some time. Very special indeed. So if you love your rare gemstones, your different gemstones, you're in the right place. Rebecca's going to be smiling from ear to ear when she sees these zircons because they are dainty, delicate and yeah. sparkly. <laughs> um, they're coming up for you in a little bit. 1995. We want to know your interesting facts, please interesting facts if you want to message them in you can message them in on jury make a text line 60777 site text with the james studio maybe you'd like to let us know what you've been up to over the last couple of days do feel free to let us know i went bowling last night with my best friend i won one game he won one game and then on the third game we drew precisely Ooh. 89 points each Right than that, Liam says he thinks he would win if, if you and I came up against each other because we have that brother and sister rivalry. So you're like, I'm going to win it. Are you good at bowling? What's your average score? What's your average score, do you think? Because I got 89 points on that one game. I got 60 somewhat on another. You've, you've hit 100. I'm not sure I have, you see. I'm not sure I have. <laughs> um, okay, well done, everyone. Next up, we're going to bring a little bit of something delicate and dainty in colour. This has got a hot pink um, thread going through the centre. So if you want it to be more subdued, the drill hole, just change that to something else. That would be wonderful as a stretchy bracelet. Dead easy to do a stretchy bracelet, yeah, isn't it? very easy. As long as you get the knot right, and that's <laughs> easily done with practice. The one hint I always say is... Yeah, go on. Put all your gemstones onto the elastic on the reel. Okay. Don't cut your elastic to fit first. Because then you're fighting with it a you're bit, aren't you? You're fighting with it, and all the gemstones will fall off. Yeah, so and nobody needs that no, when they're making a the stretchy no, bracelet. They don't. 5,095 pence for you today. These as well, nice and delicate. They'd go great with your flex rides, which I've got on tomorrow. Double deal, five. Mm -hmm. 20 carats worth for you today. I've got three of those ones left at this point. Keep on dialing. Uh, moving on to... Ooh. Wheels. Wheels of Labradorite. Are they faceted? They are. That's nice, I like that they're faceted because you're getting kind of a catwalk of colour. So you're getting like a flat surface yes. of colour, if that makes sense. That's beautiful, doesn't it? It's a little bit like in Big, isn't it? I don't know if I have an analogy for how these ones are faceted. Like sugar cane. You know, the stripes on a sugar cane as they go Oh, around. yeah, that's a good one. Oh, you're talking about... The Terry's chocolate orange facet, aren't you? No, no, this is different. This is different. Um, it's a little bit like in Big. You know, in Big, where he kind of goes over all of the, what is it, large keyboard on the floor, isn't it? Oh, it's kind yeah. of got that feeling. Yeah. And when he steps on them, they light up. That's a little bit like what this is like. That Labrador essence, that sheen you're seeing under the surface, is entirely and completely natural. It's only £4.95 for you today. That is it and if you're considering this as a genuine gemstone what a beautiful beautiful opportunity this would be as a christmas gift for someone to work with 60 carats worth for you today on that strand let me just show it to you as well with my first star buy 
because I think size-wise and colour-wise they work very nicely in together. In fact, hang on, hang on, bear with, bear with, bear with. Makes me think of Miranda, that. Bear with, bear with. There you go. Oh, they go well together. They do, don't they? Ooh. Really pick the blues out in that labyrinth, right? How can I work them in together, do you think? Um, three strands bracelet. Lovely. Just just wired. With, yeah. Maybe with some accents, uh, silver beads in between them. That's a gorgeous. To separate the colours. Three left, I've got three left. The um, Iurolite is on its way. Pigeons float on water but can't swim. That's interesting. They can float on water but can't swim. How strange. I actually don't know if I understand that. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> if they can't swim, they'd sink. Oh, so yeah, they, they just sit they, there. That's me being a pigeon. Web, can, did you tell that? They can't like, push, push themselves along. They've not got webbed feet, yeah. so they can't push themselves along. Yeah. Sit there. Dan, it's like being with Attenborough sometimes. It is, Dan, it is. Fact. Scientists in Sweden have researched if cats have dialects. And the answer was yes. Think cows have dialects too. Angela, randomly, yeah. I was listening to something this morning and apparently whales do as well. A dialect. Um, like, it's it's uh, like Scouse or yeah, it's Yorkshire like, or West Country. Yeah, or... exactly. Yeah, the accent it's, that it's, goes with where you It's live. not necessarily accents, it's phrases and stuff. For example, like batch, cob, bun, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're right, Dan. What are you laughing at? Just, just that. You're laughing because I said bun? <laughs> just that. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah. It's because I said bun. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, that's essentially gone. I've got eight of this next one and I adore it. It's going to go great with that star by at seven. I adore this. What do you think? Wowzers. That is significant. I love that strand. Again, very, very powerful gemstone. Let's remember, you know, we, we have to be very careful about what we say on air about, mm. um, you know, crystal healing, etc., etc. But I can stand here and say this is literally a powerful gemstone. It's been scientifically proven. The strength of this as well, I really appreciate because of how it actually looks. Very low in stock. Beautiful clarity to these ones and real drama. Just that as a center point line on a bracelet. Oh, why not go whole hog if you wanted to? I think that has a real modernity about it, don't you? Yeah. I can imagine Hayley Kruger doing something with silver between these, or even gold and platinum. Mm -hmm. Fourteen ninety-five. What would you do with this, Rebecca? Make a fantastic ring because you've got that centre drill straight away. You only need a simple band, um, and then go through the drill hole. But then you've got the. It makes you your fingers look longer having an elongated stone on it. That's beautiful. That is an elegance. That isn't yeah, it? Yeah, especially as they're doubly terminated. Yes. Fourteen ninety-five. I think that's fantastic. We've got another good fact in. I like this because we're having fun, but we're learning. It's all the same. Sea otters hold hands as they sleep. Oh, is it that sweet? It's oh. so they don't drift away, isn't it, in the night? I've heard about this. Oh. They literally, they lie on their backs and they like cuddle up to each other. Oh, don't. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm setting Rebecca up. She's starting to blub over here. Isn't oh, that adorable? Well, I, just, I just love the way animals mate for life and you know, I like swans and they they pine if their loved one passes yeah, away. I yeah. think it's not just us that love people. No, love it's not. Pe other it's creatures. not. A sea otters, yeah. if you, you're going to have to get home and have a look at a picture of sea otters holding hands. Oh, I, I know you will. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> it is so cute. That I'm just a so soppy so and so Oh, I love that. What did you say, Liam Lovely? We've got to move on. We've got to move on. Oh, I've just dropped that on the floor. I'll get it back in a sec, casually. You said something about otters. Don't they sleep on land? Um, I don't know. 
I'm not sure. I don't know. You do your research. I don't know whether they sleep on land. But they definitely do like hold hands when they're in the water with their young and stuff. Right. Uh, let's go to bring you big bowls. Let's have a little look at every single one of these individually. Ooh. I love these because they look like artwork. They are. They're gorgeous. I love the colours and the markings in those. Why? What is it about markings you think that attracts us as crafters in the gemstones? It gets your imagination going. You can mm. see pictures in them and it leads you into what you're going to make with the thing or it might get your imagination going into drawing or, or painting or something like that. Mm. Do you do other crafts, Rebecca? Uh, just a few. <laughs> oh, are you like me? Are yeah. you, if you I'm can craft it, you will have had to go? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How many are on the strand? I'll count them up for your poppet. Um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 approximately you're going to be getting. So on average, you're looking at 39 carats in each. That's substantial. Um, and if you don't know what a carrot is, just as a, a reminder, a carrot it's a, is a, it's a log weight. orange thing. Say that again. It's a log orange thing. <laughs> oh, lordy. Yeah, it's, it's a uh, snowman's nose, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> um, a carrot is a weight that is a connotated to genuine gemstones. Um, it is shortened to CTS. So when you have a number at the beginning, this is just in case you are brand new, when you have a number at the beginning, in this instance, 820 CTS, that means 820 carrots. And just to let you know that a gram of weight is five carats worth, okay? So you can kind of work out how this is gonna feel when we say there's about 39 carats worth in each one. 71p per gem approximately, and that is it. We've had another fact from Karen, and we love it. Sea otters can live their entire lives without leaving the water. Really? That's amazing. I don't know, why is that so amazing to me? Because other animals do it, like fish. But it's not a fish, is it? It's a no, mammal. it's a mammal. That's amazing, Karen. Karen, I love that. Do you have a lot of sea otter book or something? There are lots of otters that don't eat, leave the, that do leave the water. Do you think there's any that don't leave the sea? I'm not sure, Liam. It's a really interesting question. Anyway, <laughs> I'm moving on to, yeah, go on, lovely. Oh, these are lovely. I've not seen lava kite in a while, actually. I like lava kite. Um, lava kite's got this kind of hidden whisper of, of sheen underneath the surface. It's not quite as maybe out there with its sheen as that of Labradorite. So when you get it, you get it in these sort of smatterings, you get it in moments. So I always think it kind of takes you a little bit more by surprise than that of Labradorite. We have got here your lava kite and these are your 12 mil rounds. 12 mils are good if you want to get someone's attention. 12 mils are also good because actually they're not, um, was sorry when they're this gemstone because you've got a lot of surface area so you're getting a bit of a spring of light oh liam thinks his price is wrong that is a big carrot weight for a phenomenon gemstone in particular for 595 only you're right that is a very very affordable deal indeed and you know what they are so beautiful in their look you can pair them with many 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 other gemstones i'm just thinking sort of one of these say at the bottom, you know, with like a clear quartz, something like that. I quite like mm. that as a pairing. Mm. I think they both kind of speak to me. We're asking for your facts tonight. It doesn't matter what they're about. L's in. Oh, L from the Shire. Um, festive animal fact. Reindeer's eyes turn blue in the winter. Oh, is that because they get so cold? <laughs> My dog has snow nose. Does yeah, so snow nose is, I don't know, if, uh, I don't, I'm pretty positive all dogs don't get it, and I'm pretty positive all, all golden retrievers don't get it, but in winter, my dog's nose turns pink, and then in summer, it, it well, like start of February, it turns black again. 
Oh, is she a blonde retriever? She is completely yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's to do with that then, isn't is it? Is it? It's the pigments in their, in their coloration. Yeah. Yes. It's funny that, though. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, especially yeah. the first time I sort of have to care saw if she doesn't get... Is it a she or a he? Yes, she. Yeah, yeah. Mulberry, yeah. Care if she doesn't get uh, sunburnt. No, 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 she doesn't. She does love a sunbathe, but she never has. What did you say, uh, Liam? Don't dogs' noses, when they go dry, it's when they're not very well. When they're that's, not very well. Yeah, yeah, when they're not very well. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Five. Oh, sniffing my dogs. No, it's not that they're popcorn. Sniffing my dogs. Put, that's the easiest way to explain it, but they're not really like that. No, my dog's paws smell like home. And you know, like, you know, like a new baby smell. You know what I mean? How you, you're like, if you have a young baby, it's got that lovely, homely, warm baby smell. That's what my dog's paws smell like. Oh, I love it. Especially when she goes to sleep. When she's asleep and you have a little, oh, oh, it's the best. It's the best. No, I can, <laughs> you think she's pretending to be asleep and judging me on being a weirdo. No, you can tell when she's asleep because her paws get stronger in scent. I'm telling you, I, every time one friend walks through my door, I insist that they have a smell. I've got so much more to bring you. And apparently, now what I'm going to do is bring to you a double trouble deal. Now, what I love about this gemstone is it almost looks like you're getting a double fun appearance because this, as a gemstone, in certain angles, will change its appearance from a dazzling denim blue to an ancient antiques bronze. Of course, it is your Iolite. <laughs> Sorry, you heard a bit of me do, do, do into the music then, didn't you? My mic wasn't cut out quite as quickly as I thought it was. Sorry. I just love a little sing song to the star by sting. <laughs> How about I bring to you? I bet other people do it at home. I bet you do, don't you? It's, it's catching, isn't it? It is, it's catchy. I am bringing to you your Iolite, and I am bringing to you two strands. Now, Iolite, for anyone who doesn't know, is a very ancient gemstone. It's been used for many a year. And one of the most interesting stories related to this is it used to be used in days of old when we were out exploring our planet of finding new lands. And this used to be put at the front of a ship and it was used alongside crows to navigate said ship. And that is because, dependent on the angle of these, the angle of the uh, sun that comes into these, it would depend on the angle you were, in essence, traveling in. So if it would start to go a little bit of a darker um, sort of antique bronze color, you knew that the angle you were traveling in was a different to that of the sun. So that meant that you would steer your ship to say, keep it on uh, the blue color so that you knew, for example, you were constantly traveling north. It was also used alongside crows as well, hence the term crow's nest. I am bringing to you two strands here and wow, that's, that's a big carrot weight. So each one I've got 36 carrots. They are beautifully faceted, and you have got that serious sparkle because of that facet work. As I move these, can you see they almost change color before your eyes, yeah? That's due to the angle at which you're looking at them. It is a little bit of a better effect in um, natural daylight. We have got for you a double trouble here. So that means a couple of things. Numero uno, it means it's a double up, double trouble, because the quantity we've purchased has been halved for all intents and purpose. So for example, let's say I bought, we bought as a business 100 of this strand. We've put two in a bundle, therefore we've only got 50 to purchase. So it's a bit troublesome because it means we've got lower stock. It's also double trouble because our producers like to be a little bit troublesome in price. You ready for this? Two strands of your Iolite. Should be deal on these, I'd be expect. What price might you expect each? $12.95? $9.95 at an absolute push. $9.95 at an absolute push each. For you today, 
I'm bringing to you. That's a very good deal. Seven pounds 50 each for you today for these two strands. They are entirely natural. They're Indian Iolite. You can even see the quality of color on these ones. They look beautiful. And it's a really nice, easy wear color because it is like a denim color. It is like, if you, especially if you pair it with antique bronze, that really brings out the hues even more. But this is the type of thing that, you know, on those days where you throw on a nice um, denim jacket or you pop on your favorite jeans, then this is that that's an easy color to wear, isn't it? That's why generally those are go-to elements within our capsule wardrobes. It's great that you've got it with these ones as well. What do you like about these strands, please, Rebecca? Um, the versatility of them. There's so much you can do with rondelles. You can, they're perfect for earrings, they're perfect for stacker bracelets, um, uh, trilogy rings, channel sets. They're, oh, they're beautiful in channel mm. set rings. Mm. Love them. It's such a beautiful versatility, especially with two strands, actually, isn't it? Yeah, the world's your oyster with those. Mm. Whilst you're coming in for this, let's have a fact from Hazel. Oh, Odd fact. Like fingerprints, everyone's tongue print is different. Is it really? Well, I never. Knew that. I never. Tongue print. Where have they got that from as an <laughs> assessment? Do you know what I mean? Because you know sometimes if you go to like, uh, when would you have your fingerprints taken? Like sometimes they do it in clubs actually, don't they? Have you seen that now? They do that sometimes in clubs. You'll go in and you'll like scan your finger. Imagine if they were like, oh, try just popping your tongue on it. Uh, weird. Yeah. You did a whole science fair on fingerprints. You got a gold crescent award for it. Of course you did, Liam. Of course, you're a genius. Um, I'm with you, Becky, about smelling the paws. Lena, you're brilliant, lol. I'm the same with my kitties, um, especially when they are asleep. Lena, thank you so much. For years I've been saying this. Liam thinks it's only me and you in the whole world that do that. I think oh, I have never smelt Joey's paws. I will do when, we, when we're finished. I'll yeah. go and have a sniff. Yeah. I know where he's been walking today, so I'm not sure I want to. You know what? It's, it's when they're asleep, it's the best. Uh, My dog, I've trained from a very young age to lie on me here so that I can just... <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right, where are we going to next, Liam? I've got loads more goodies. Um, oh wow. Have a little look at this. Big piece of Labradorite. Whoa. How do you feel about Labradorite, please? I love Labradorite. Do you? Yeah, especially the, the purple, and sometimes you get some really sagey green ones. So true. And, oh, they're it's, beautiful. It's Are those just... the ones that have got the faceting the different way on the back? No, same on each the side. Same on each yeah, side. Yeah, same on each side. Yeah, that's gorgeous. dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. That's kind of got that green hue running that's through it. That's, that's the, the sagey colour, colour isn't yes. it? Yeah. The great thing with stuff like this as well, with that different facet work, they is are, oh yeah, that on one does. Side. I think they're different. Yeah. I think it's different on each side. It depends on the axis yes. that's going to show you the best colour. Yeah. So that when it's different facet on each side, it's brilliant for a double-sided pendant. Yes. It doesn't matter which way it turns, and you, you get a totally it's different gonna look. refraction of the colour on, on It's going to look beautiful. Yeah. I've got on here two, four, six, seven, approximately seven of these ones on here. Ooh. We've faceted these to get the most out of them. Look at that. Facet these to get the most out of them. $9.95, you've got your price point on these ones. Let me bring to you some seed beads. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let me bring to you now a little tube first off. All last of stock, and I'm starting off with these ones. That is a beautiful color. Teal. Beautiful silver lined teal I've got here for you. I adore that colour. Do not forget Advent Calendar on Friday. Eee! 
Um, I am bringing to you now last of stock on these ones. And remember, with seed beads, we can never guarantee you when we're going to be able to get colours back in. It all depends on numerous things, including what a batch run is, popularity of colours, etc. What does this colour make you think of? How do you think you would be able to use this in designs? Would you do flora and fauna? Would this maybe be like an enchanted wonderland design? It would go beautifully if you had some, um, that seashell, what's it called? Abalone. Oh, gorgeous. That's oh, a great abalone. idea. Um, and, and do a, a seed embroidery piece around an abalone cabochon. That would look incredible. Like that with with uh, shibori silk. Oh, that'd really show it off, wouldn't it? Mm. Well done. Let me bring to you one we know you love. Huge tube. Great for your mystical creatures. 20 grams worth I've got in here for you. Look at that. A multitude of different colours. That rainbow-like of hues. I think they're beautiful. Graphics are about to come live. It is the large tube that you're getting. You're getting greens, purples, peaches, blues. You're getting golds in here as well. It's the Aurora Borealis Topaz in the 11 O's that we're bringing to you. There are literally thousands of seed beads in our seed bead tubes like this. You're getting a great deal today. It is the last of stock. This is going to be, this has always been a popular cut. Okay then, two pounds, 95. Normally, Aurora Borealis colors, I'm expecting the seven, six, seven pounds mark. I'm usually expecting 295 for you today. That is a absolute flood of you coming in now. These are gonna sell out. Extremely popular color, that's a stunning price. I've got three more tubes. These are the colors. Every single one of them, we're gonna do for 2 95 These ones coming up. So get ready to grab. I'm gonna do beautiful bright red for you now. Very festive. Christmas. What was that? Ching, 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 ching. What for? Oh, bells, right. I thought you said that as well. I didn't think you said bells. Me and, no, me and Dan thought it was something entirely different. We have got for you here eight O's in size. They are two pounds and 95 pence. Me and Dan did not think you said bells. Dan has now walked out. He can't control himself. <laughs> two pounds, 95 pence for you today. It's a lovely, strong coral colour. Hey, it's nearly time of that time of year, isn't it, as well? Pantone's colour of the year is announced soon. Oh, yeah. For 2020, what are we expecting? Mmm. I might... Do you know what? I might start a uh, thing going. I might start a, uh, a, a... Like, what's it called? Where you all make a bet and you all put money in. Sweepstake. Might start a jewelry make a sweet steak. Sweet steak. Mmm. Steak and chocolate, a sweet steak. That's not what it is. Well done. Let's go to the yellow now. They are. You think golden beige. You think it's gonna be golden beige for 2020? This year's was coral, wasn't it? Yes, living coral this year, which is why I thought of it, because it's not a million miles away from this. What do you reckon, Dan? Mm -hmm. Colour of the year, 2020. I any green for a long time. It's been a while since green. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like um, a blue? A blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't had a blue by itself for a long time. We had it with, um, we had Serenity and Rose Quartz, but that was a, a dual year, so yeah. Maybe. 295 for you again. I've got one more colour for 295. We've also got a little VT to show you. After this. Let me bring to you now. This colour is very workable. Those very, very beautiful port-like colours. And it is a port, isn't it? 
we're bringing to you your semi-matte, transparent, in the dark topaz. I think this actually with your first kit would go really well. Oh, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. Could have some mini berries. Yeah. We are bringing, or even doing like a beady bead with them to make oh, a larger yeah, Christmas could. berry. Yeah. Two pounds and 90, 95 pence for you um, today. <laughs> Whilst you're in. coming in and purchasing this, it's time to get you ready for that festive season. Oh, yeah. As you may well know, we are finally bringing to you a jewellery maker advent calendar. Want to find out more? Have a little watch of this. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the advent calendar. Getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So for the first time ever, Jewelry Maker have produced their very own Christmas advent calendar. So every morning you're gonna get up, you're gonna open your little doors, and inside will be some beads, 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewelry Maker's very first Christmas advent calendar. Cheers. Well. I've got the price on my Facebook page as well, if you want to see it. I don't know if I should have kept that secret, but it got... Yeah. They emailed it to me. Don't email me so if you want me to keep it quiet. <laughs> oh, okay. To be fair, though, I that Debbie Bulford news, I kept absolutely stum on. I mean, yes, it's the only thing I've kept quiet about this whole year, but still, I'm keeping that. Um, okay. Where should we go to? Let... Liam's saying we didn't tell you until about Debbie Bulford until today. As you know, we saw Debbie Bulford months ago when she came in for that meeting. I kept it. It's like Fort Knox. I am bringing to you double trouble, d -d double trouble on your pink amethyst. Now I know what you're thinking if you knew. Bex, that pink amethyst is more purpley than pink. And you are not wrong. But we refer to pink amethyst when it has this sort of um, uh, pink as a back palette, and that's exactly what this has. We're bringing to you two strands of this, and it's actually not a million miles away from that kind of Rose de France color, is it? We have got for you today, and I've got this coming up, I'm just looking at it and thinking, that oh, looks amazing. Um, what you have here is that glow in quality, and that is so unusual for you to be able to see that beauty. We have got your double trouble two. Now, I would expect a higher price point than that on one of them, if I'm honest, entirely honest, because of the glow. Let's remember, we very rarely see a pink amethyst. We very, very, very rarely see it with a clarity aspect to it. And not only does this have clarity, it's got brilliance. See that glow internally? It's incredible. We do not get to see that. We're asking for your facts today. We love, love, love to hear your facts tonight, if that's all right with you. James Studio. Um, Antarctica has only one ATM machine. It's an awfully long way to trek if you need some cash, isn't it? Blimey, yeah. Because isn't Antarctica something like, oh, I don't know. It's something like two times the size of America, isn't it? It's something massive. No, hardly anybody lives there, though. So why the one ATM? So, well, in case you've gone on an expedition and you need to, oh, you that's need to the last home. thing you need. That's the last thing you need, isn't it? No. You've gone on a trek. Oh, I've only gone and forgot me cash. What a nightmare! <laughs> I love that as a fact. What are you can spend it on? Liam's out chatting about paying off otters. It's all got really weird. It's very strange. What would you need an ATM machine for in Antarctica? Because there'll be a town. You've got to pay for a plumber. Good, Liam. Anyway, well done to everyone on that one. Okay, I've got more goodies coming up for you. 
Let me forget about this. Look at that. Let me bring you. Oh, I'm just going to flip this way. Sorry. Oh. Oh, I love this round. This is coming up next. This is coming up at eight. This is coming up right here, right now. That as a shape is such a unisex design. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. What would you do with this one, Rebecca? Um, I'd be using my leather with that. Um, either, two things, either very thin leather, if it's the thread hole's good enough and it looks like it from mm -hmm, here, sure. um, to go through as a, just one on a, on a bracelet yeah or i do some pretty hefty copper wire work around one piece and then set that onto a wide leather piece that sounds divine i love that idea keeping it kind of chunky but yeah. also keeping it minimalist is that yeah. versatility again yeah, isn't it right. we are bringing to you 90 carats worth of this sublime onyx we're making it under 15 pounds. It's going to be 11.95 for you. Was it Beatrice who me messaged in? Beatrice or Bernice? Beatrice? Bernice, sorry. Bernice, we are now doing more research on Antarctica. You've really spurred something on here. Give me, there's 10 families that live on Antarctica apparently. They've got a school. There's a school, a hospital, a hostel, a post office, and you get internet TV as well. So there is a point for an ATM then. Yeah. Ros has come up for a good reason why you'd need an ATM in Antarctica <laughs> as well. Ros, Ros we love funny. you for She's it. always funny, Ros. Need to buy ice for your G&T. <laughs> no. Now that's the best yes. reason ever. You've got to have that. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Be... Ros. <laughs> Liam's going. No, you wouldn't need to because you live in Antarctica. There's ice anywhere. It's out everywhere, you just chip it off. Genuinely. Oh, but and that might be polluted. That, that joke, whoo, that went right over his head. That was, it was funny, that. It was, you thought that was a fact. <laughs> that, um, that's, that says a lot about, I think you need to do more research on, on sarcasm, maybe. Oh, that's brilliant. No, you just chip it off in Antarctica. Oh, Ross. Uh, 11.95. Well done. Okay, let me bring to you this piece now. That is stunning. Solid sterling silver, 9.25. With your pearl in there. So let me just show you. Let me show you. States 9.25 on that section there. And you have your pearl suspended in here. Look at that. Look at that. I love that that pearl is absolutely suspended within there. So it rotates. It's not glued into place. You see that? Oh, I have got a serious amount of metal in here. You can see you've got way over a gram's worth. And you've got eight pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. That is seriously sensational. That is a ring for like a fiddle ring. That may be even on a choker point. Actually, I quite like this because obviously pearls like you know to be near your skin, don't they? Mm. But obviously it's housed, so it's nicely protected as well. That is divine, and I love the fact that you can move it. I think that's beautiful. The fact yeah. that that pearl actually spins in the centre there. I think that as a design is so expensive looking. It is, isn't it? And as you say, for a fiddle ring, you'd only need a small piece of one mil wire as your, your band, mm. bring it up and make a, a loop through those there. So and it's super done. easy. It's so, it's so easy. 8 95 Very simple well to done. do. Multi buyers on those ones. Oh, I appreciate this gemstone strand a lot. A lot, a lot. I love the shape of it. This is your praise. The graphics have frozen. They have fixed themselves. That's always good, isn't it? I love this colour. And I think that this colour is very much like a winter green. You know lamb's ear that you get in your garden? That's that sort of lamb's ear. Yeah, it's like a, it's a leaf in your garden that you get. Do you not know what I'm talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah, the furry grey. 
Yeah, it's like grapery. It's flower. silver, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's that kind of colour that you're getting. And I think it goes so nicely with your aquamarine, actually. Bernice would like to update her fact about ATMs. We're more than happy. Just checked. Since 2015, there are now <laughs> two, <laughs> literally a 100% increase in My ATMs. Goodness. Yeah, what? 2015, what a great year that was. That is a brilliant year. Don't have to queue anymore for that one. I love that, Bernice. £12.95 for you. I love that. Just, uh, just checked it. Just checked. Yeah, you don't want all 57 of the people who live there in that queue. Twelve ninety-five for you today. If you like your quirky shapes. There you are. What currency do they have in Antarctica? Hmm, interesting question. They're coming up for you straight after the break. Also, I have got kits coming up. Tell us a little bit about your kits, apart from the fact that they're under £15. Um, it's gold. It's got... My favourite gemstone in it, mm. garnet. You can make all sorts of things with it. And I've gone Christmassy. Yes! And I love that you have. It's so, so, so exciting and bold. And um, it's been a bit of a challenge. So it's been kind of a whoo one. But I tell you what, these pieces are incredible. You're going to absolutely love them. I have got so much more to come on the show. Obviously, these are coming up straight after the break for you. Um, I have also got coming up for you very, very soon indeed, the likes of your Mystic Topaz, which actually works so well, doesn't it? I have got all of that to come. I've got more mates from Rebecca. Rebecca. So in the break, treat yourself to some goodies and maybe send in more facts. I'll see you on the other side of this break. <laughs> Hello everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the Advent Calendar. Getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So, for the first time ever, Jewelry Maker have produced their very own Christmas Advent Calendar. So every morning you're going to get up, you're going to open your little doors and inside will be some beads, 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewelry Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. designer here really excited just been filming my latest dvd with xena it's all about the nativity with sea beads so on this dvd you're going to learn how to make mary joseph the baby jesus of course and we also take you through how to make the wise men and the shepherds so this dvd is launching on Saturday the 16th as part of the Christmas market weekend. Ho, 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 come and get yours. Hi, Jewelry Makers, Simon here. I'd like to come and join me on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. So I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance, it's perfectly good stock. Uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal even more than usual and with Christmas coming up why not come and make the most of the opportunity 
So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. Maker and hello from both Rebecca's. It was lovely to be with you this evening. Oh yeah, Ooh, two Rebecca's. Yeah, I am a Rebecca. I'm not a Becky. Yeah, no, I'm a Becky. But if someone, if I have to full name myself, I am Rebecca Redikin. So I think Becky Redikin sounds really weird. Yeah, yeah, Never likes mean. the way it sounds. Hence the whole Rebecca Redikin. Yeah, but you there's can call one me person thing. gets away with calling me Bex. Okay, who's that? It's my friend John. Right who I had lunch with today. He oh, lives lovely. near me, but he was working in Birmingham. That's so <laughs> random. Um, yeah, so we, we arranged to meet up and oh. had lunch today. It was lovely. Oh, that's dead nice. Yeah, so he's the but only he's the only one. Loud. The only yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. We have got so much coming up for you, and I've got Rebecca's kit coming up really soon, which is under £15 today. I, know. I couldn't believe it when you told me. No. <sighs> it's not meant to be. It's <sighs> Before it, though, let me bring to you this beautiful strand, a very powerful strand indeed. This is your wonderful quartz. Now, the fact of the matter is that when we sit here um, as presenters, we obviously have to be very, very careful about what we're saying in regards to chakras, in regards to crystal healing, etc., because it hasn't been um, scientifically proven. And as you know, we here in Shopping TV world are more checked than that of, say, the high street, etc. So we have to be very, very careful. It's always gorgeous to bring you stones like this, though, because I can say that this is a powerful gemstone fact. And the reason for that is this is one of the very few gemstones which has been scientifically proven to give power. You know, the quartz watches, you know, well-known quartz watches, very, very famous indeed. So named because they get their power from, yeah, you guessed it, quartz. I am offering to you on this strand, not just any old quartz, I am bringing to you the power of size and the power of the appearance with that double termination. So what we're bringing to you here is the body shape of a hexagonal. And then you've got that beautiful, beautiful tapering off at the ends to give you that double termination point. That therefore enhances the variation in light inwardly. And I think that's what you can see with this, can't you? Mm. As you're looking around it, it's almost like a magic <coughs> eye. It's almost hypnotic, isn't it? It gives you these glows at different angles. And that's the look you're going to get when you're wearing these. That's going to be the look that you're going to have these uh, from these maybe when you have them on your Christmas table. I absolutely appreciate this strand for how bountiful it is. It's bountiful of carrot weight, it's bountiful of light, it's bountiful of interest and facet. I mean, if you just look down, uh, let's describe this as culé just for ease. If you look down the culé of one of these, you can see that hexagonal shape. You can see how hypnotic that looks. You can see how that's almost like transcendent, isn't it? It's really interesting to look at. And then the overall appearance, it still takes your breath away. It's almost like a spinning top, isn't it? We are bringing to you five guaranteed on your strand. There will be around 174 carats worth in total on these gemstones. The price on it is a star by deal. So, 
If you fancy grabbing your hands on this, this is one of the best times to purchase it. We are gonna give you a live on air deal, but please remember these only last for a few hours. So only until 8 a.m. will this last. I'm about to bring this to you at a brand new low. But Liam's saying he needs to see you there. He wants to see you there. He wants to see you there. You're ready, you're raring, you're waiting. You've got plenty of these um, available, but if you want to grab your hands on it, do please pop it in your basket. You don't even have to check it out. Liam is asking you to do this because when the, you know, if he takes it to a brand new low, which is a little bit of a mischievous deal that we're going to do, essentially what happens is when we type in the code of this into our... Um, what do you call it? Oh, it? Yeah, system, perfect. When we type it into the system where we put our schedules together and price everything, yada, yada, yada. Um, basically, on every single code, there is so much information. So, for example, can you tell me the last time this was played and all, the, all that shenanigans? Last played on the 12th of the 8th, 2019. At what time? 1935, which presenter, Vicky Gordon, which producer, Liam Dickens. We can see all of this and there's loads of information. I won't bore you with all of it, but we get all of this info on every single code. Um, and the fact of the matter is that when you look along that long list of all the facts, one of the things is interest. And interest will tell you how many had this in baskets at the time of price drop and at the time of checkout and move on as well. So that management, if they look back and they go, oh, why did you take it to that very, very, very low price where we're making nothing but friends? My producer can go, well, look at how much interest there was. A lot of people wanted it, can't let them down. Don't want people dillying and dallying in the baskets. A lot of people have now got it in their baskets. Will you? Oh, that's more, okay, that's more of a brand new low than I thought the brand new low, but apparently it's because we have so many in baskets, so we appreciate that. 16 pounds and 95 pence for you today. That's about three pounds 39 each. And these are substantial, right? They are huge, yes. On average, we're looking 34 carats in each one approximately. Obviously the middle one will be bigger than that. The smaller yeah. ones will be lesser, but it's still it's an average. 16.95. Rebecca, what would you do with one of these to make your money back on that? <laughs> um, the interesting thing with quartz is, and all those cuts, mm. is that it depends on what colour thread you put through it as to what colour it shines as. So particularly for Christmas, I'd be using red or green um, wire on a, on a talk. Mm. Just, uh, just that on its own, and then that red or green or whatever colour is going to shine through and reflect on your skin. That's beautiful. And they look beautiful. That's a beautiful idea. Or just to hang simply as a as a tree decoration next to your fairy lights, and that the fairy light will twinkle through there, and you'll get rainbows on on the on your walls because of that. that. I love that. That's a great idea. Um, we thank you so much for your text ins in the first hour. We want to keep these facts going. We've learned a lot about Antarctica. We've learned a lot about sea otters. We've learned a lot about um, animals in general, actually. And um, also, my wonderful producer, Liam, is going on holiday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Going to Dublin. So, do feel free to text us in any maybe hints and tips you'd like to give him if you yourself have been to Dublin. A little bit of sightseeing, maybe. Where'd you Ooh, go? What do you see? Mm. Liam's already booked that he's going to a famous whiskey house. Oh. And a famous brewery. I think we all know what Can that I one is. Can I come with you? <laughs> what, I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that one, the uh, beer factory place, and it was actually rather good. The whiskey one, you're making your own whiskey. Uh, you're blending them and stuff. Mm. Sounds like it's going quite boozy, actually, doesn't it? That's all he's got planned so far. So do feel free for... Yeah, museums, etc. maybe, uh, that you can enjoy. Uh, well done to Evelyn. I've got Channel Islands in. I've got Bur Buckinghamshire in. I've got um, Invernessshire. I've got the Vale of Glamorgan, Lancashire, Greater Manchester, Essex, Highlands. Well done to South Carolina. The gorgeous USA. Ooh, that's good. North Yorkshire as well. You've all checked it out. There are people with it in their baskets, though. Um, but you know me. I'm not a name and shamer. Just 
just check them out whilst you get the opportunity to do so. I think something like this in you know, really, really long piece of ribbon would just be beautiful. And I mm. have got ribbons coming up for you. Oh, yeah. Mm. In a little bit. £16 and 95 pence for you. If quirky shapes are your idea of a good time, let me remind you. This doesn't look a million miles away from the gems you've got on your necklace, actually. Oh, no, it doesn't, does it? Really, it doesn't. Yeah. Not at a glance. Yeah. Cubes, these ones. Yeah, they, they, they are. Queen's ones. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're beautiful. Um, so they're coming up for you at 8 o'clock. Can I also let you know in this hour what's happening? As well as the kit. What do you think? Mystic Topaz. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's going to fly, Liam sinks. It does. Well done to every single one of you on this. I'm about to bring to you a kit which is just absolutely beguiling. I adore the quality that we have got running through this. And I don't mean to be rude to the rest of the kit, but I'm gonna quickly brush over the fact that you get elements in this, such as a fine things pack and two sets of wire. It's 0.4 and 0.8. We'll discuss that more in a moment. But for now, I think it's really important that we focus on the treasure that is this garnet. Now, Rebecca, you're a garnet lover. I am. What do you love about this specific garnet, please? Oh, it, the, just the glow of the of the red. Mm. It's a it's a true deep deep red garnet. This one and mm. the glow. You probably can't pick it up on the camera. The glow on my whiteboard is mm. incredible. Mm. And when you've got lights behind it. It shines beautifully. Mm. It's really lovely. So you're obviously quite connected to garnet. What is it about garnet in general that you appreciate? Um, it was my first grown-up piece of jewellery. Yes, I see. My father bought me um, a solitaire ring with, with garnet in it. Beautiful. And since then, you've been I've attracted. been attracted to garnet. Mm. But it wasn't until I found Jewellery Maker that I knew that there were other... Types, types of garnet, yeah, let alone types different colours. Yeah, yeah. Um, is this, oh, for them. you, the more traditional colour? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, and I, I like that about it. For anyone who maybe doesn't know much about their gemstones, the fact that they're going to look at something like this and know yes. that this is the yeah. traditional garnet. If you've garnet. got a craft stall mm. and, and it's your first one mm. and you want to make a profit on your first stall, have garnet alongside your amethyst and your your, your rose quartz you well the, the gemstones mm. that people really really know and you think oh i know what that is that must be real yes <laughs> yes so you point. don't have to have your, your authenticity there to prove it no but you know they they know what they're looking for and i will let you know that this is real i will also let you know that the due to the fact that this is real and it is entirely natural that bumps the price up mm. i'll also remind you this is a birthstone that also bumps the price up because of promotion of this, etc. And therefore, Garnet, not only is it the first birthstone of the year, it is not only one of the most famous birthstones of the calendar, but it is also, carat per carat, one of the relatively high-end ones. Taking out that of your, you know, your sapphire, your diamond, emerald, ruby, mm. this is up there, price per carat, in the gemstone world. And I think when you can see how rambunctious the colour is on this, how I um, sort of connective this is as a gemstone, but also how recognisable. It's understandable mm, that it's costly, it is. isn't it? It is. We're yeah. bringing to you perfect rounds of seven mil. Now that isn't a usual size that we come no, across, is it? No, it's not. You get your four, six, eight, and seven, five and seven are very rare to get hold of. And it makes such a difference. Just that one mil between a, the, the six to the seven, it does make a difference. To me, eight mil are sometimes too chunky. I say, yeah. For a piece, whereas yeah. or a six mil might be too small. This was perfect. Mm. It is an absolutely go-to useful size, but we very rarely see it. And I will just say, maybe you've got six mils of garnet at home and eight mils of garnet. You might think, ah, I bet there's hardly any difference. Wow, there is. Visually, when you see is. them visually next yes. to each other, you can tell that difference. Mm. So if you want a genteel graduation, then this is a great way to get your hands on it. 
Now, let me just remind you, it's not just the garnet we have. I am bringing to you the wire in the 0.8 and the 0.4, as well as this entire findings pack. And it's 21 piece that we're bringing to you. This is a serious amount of goodies you'll get in here, especially considering that I am bringing to you that massive, massive garnet strand, which is so bright as, you know, Rebecca mm. was saying, you want to see the glow in real life. We're bringing to you today an entirely natural strand of your garnet in seven mil, 20 meters worth of wire and a full 21 piece findings pack for 12 pounds and 95 pence. That is <laughs> such joking. an incredible opportunity. That is such an incredible price. When we were before the show and we were discussing this, you guessed around the 22, 23 did. pounds mark, didn't I did. you? I did, I thought that's what it was going to go And for. I think that's an understandable guess. Yeah. If someone said to me, Bex, we're gonna put this on air at 19.95, I'd go, yep, no problem yeah, whatsoever. Not going Absolutely like fine. 12.95 though for you today. That really is an incredible opportunity because of the quality you're getting but also when you look at your jewelry to think that is you know the piece in that would have only cost you 12.95 to make yes. mind boggling i don't it is <laughs> and i've got lots left yeah i've still got uh, about half a dozen of the garnets left and loads of the wire left yeah so there's there's lots more pieces that can be made it's such it's a beautiful a, that kit. That is fantastic value. It really is. It's seriously festive. Seriously festive. You've yeah. got here 12 95 yeah. on this one today. If you yeah. want to grab your hands on it, then please, please, please do be quick off the mark because it's something which we had less than 100 of because that's all we were able to source of the gemstone. So just shy of 100. Mm -hmm. Probably got about 10% of my stock gone at this point. Telling a lie, apparently 40% of my stock apparently is gone now by the looks of things. And that's including people who've got it in their baskets. You will love so it, do honestly. seize the moment. And the, the wire itself is it's champagne gold wire. This is so soft to work with. So we're actually doing quite a lot of manipulation of wire in this pattern. But it, it, it keeps its colour. It, you can bend it so easily. It's wonderful. Absolutely it's, wonderful. It's just divine. And I love the jewellery that you've done with it, Rebecca. I really Thank do. You. It's very, very wearable. It's a beautiful motif for all year round. Obviously, we think of holly and we think of Christmas. But, but yeah. it's winter, isn't it? It's it winter is. wonderland. It is. And that is totally what you've got here. Yeah. £12.95, and 95 pence. 40% of my stock has now gone. And we are going to dive on into a demo. Remember, I've still got some Mystic Topaz coming up for you in this hour. And I've got um, thicker gauges of wire as well in a bit. But for now, oh, let's get started started on our make and we're going to learn this holly motif aren't we yes i'm going to show you how to make holly leaf and then you can adapt it to make the actual necklace or you could use the center motif and put a pin on the back and be a nice chunky brooch for a chunky that's a lovely idea scarf that's or a lovely idea like um, you could make it smaller and be a nice little ring so that's it's this one to do what you need to start with is a piece of um, your 0.8 wire. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't matter how long, but make it long enough. Okay. So this is more than 12 inches long. Mm -hmm. uh, the more wire you give yourself, and at this price, price, you can play as much as you want with it. Yeah. Um, you're not going to waste it. Bend it in half and gently bring the ends together. This is going to. This is where the point of the holly leaf is going to be. Now, use your pliers and just bring that closer together. If you bring the beginnings together first, getting that into a point will be easier. Now I use um, flat nose pliers like this because they're not graduated on mm. the, the width of the mm. blade, so you're going to get the same every time. Just pinch that together gently so that the wires are fairly close together like that. Now we're gonna make both sides of the leaf at the same time. Using the, the blades of, your, of the flat nose pliers, I'm just going to give myself a bit of room at the top there. Mm -hmm. You see it poking through? And then I'm going to bend the wire flat against the pliers. Take the pliers out, turn them over, put them in there, and we're going to bend it the other way. Same again, all the way to the bottom. And so it's like a zigzag. It's just a zigzag of, of bends and also with these because they're flat nose they've got flat sides they're not curved like your chain nose oh, that's good. 
One, two, three, I've done. There. The more bends you put in it, the bigger your holly leaf's going to be. Do you get very inspired by the great outdoors and Mother that Nature? Is, the nature is my main inspiration. Right. Mm. Um, I've got several cameras <laughs> and I take them all out with me on different occasions. Mm. And I'm always looking around. Yeah. And I'm not looking at the floor all the time, I'm looking up into the treetops as mm. well and seeing what's up there. Because I do it's think these have got a really, really um, realistic look to them, yeah. which is why I asked. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, once you've done your bends, you need to split open the wire and you'll end up with that sort of shape, mm -hmm. okay? If you end up, you haven't done enough bends to bring the, the long wires together at mm -hmm. the bottom, just put in, put, close it back up, do another bend, and you're fine like that, okay? We're not gonna use the long bits for a while. We need to get in the middle stem of the leaf. So we're going to cut a long piece of um, your point four wire. Again, give yourself plenty to play with. Um, usually, I work off the reel or I will put my wire on a bobbin, but in this case I can't because we're going to be weaving the wire inside the stem, which you'll see in a minute. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take the end of the wire, I'm just going to wrap three or four times round what will be the stem of the leaf, just to secure it. There we go, let's squidge that up. Right, so that's at the base of the leaf. And then we're going to take this up to the top, there. Hold it very close to the tip of the leaf and bring the wire up the middle and over the top. And do that twice, up the middle, over the top, until you get back to the middle again. Okay, so that's secured the stem to the top of the leaf. Now we need to start thinking about the ribs coming from the points and from the middles to the rib in the middle. So just put the wire over the middle rib of the leaf, come round again, bend it back on itself and you'll come to one of the inner bits of a leaf, bend it round there and the same as we did at the top, you need to go round a couple of times just to secure it. Take it back to the rib again, move down just a little bit. On the, on the main holly, on the necklace, I actually went round every single time, three or four times round the centre stem as well, centre rib, but you don't need to. Um, it actually looks more organic if you don't. Mm. So you go over there, round this one. This, this side's easier because it's, it's free, from the, it's not attached at the bottom much easier. Okay, so I've gone round there, go back down to here and I've done this a lot on another piece that we can move straight on to when I've shown this bit. So I said we've done an inner, now we need to do an outer. Okay, so you go over in between the rib and the side that you're working on, do it a couple of times. Oops, there we go. Then back to the rib, secure it to the rib, and then over to the other side again. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to move, do that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Okay, I'm going to swap over to one that I've already done. So crisscross, crisscross, innie outy, innie outy, mm. all the way to the bottom. Finish off by taking your last outy towards the rib, just to finish it there. And then you can bring in the other long piece and just wrap those two together. Okay, like that. So, this will then become your bale and this is where we're going to, this bit is where we're going to add on the gemstones. Okay, so traditionally, this is where they fall all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Now traditionally, a holly sprig has three berries on it. I don't know why, 
Mm. But that, traditionally it does. Now look what I've done. I've gone too quickly and I've got a kink in my wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm gently going to push it back the way it's come from. Because if I leave that kink there, it's going to catch on things. Mm. There. That's straightened it out again. I can use my nylon jaws just to straighten that, get rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to put three berries. No, I'm going to put one, one at a time. Because I want to put place them. If I put all three on at once, I'm just going to get an arc. I want to place them. So I'm going to hold that and then I'm going to go down through the leaf weave somewhere. There we go. And then up round the rib. A couple of times. And come up where I want to put my next berry. I'll just do a couple on this one to be untraditional, if that's a word. There we are, we'll put one more on. And because I had such a long piece of 0.4 to do the, the weaving part of mm. it, I've got this that I can play with to do the bale. Okay, so put that one there. Just how it pleases you, it doesn't have to be in any particular position. But again, get your inspiration from, na from nature. Go out and look at holly trees. If you can find any in, in, in Berry, please let me know, because I couldn't where we were, where we are. Mm. They're all no buried hollies this year. Mm. Right, now remember I started there, wrapped three or four times around. I've got a little end there that I need to get rid of. Otherwise, I'm going to get caught. I'll do a quick... twice round one, twice round the other. That's the way to do the figure of eight. Twice round one, twice round the other. You could do three or four times round each one. It gives you a different visual effect in the middle. Mm. Okay, and you carry that on mm -hmm. until you get to the size of bale that you actually want. Okay. Okay, then cross your wires over mm -hmm. and wind your way back down, weave your way mm -hmm. back down again until you get to the bottom. Got okay, you. I shan't do that bit now because that's something I've done loads of times before. Um, and there's tutorials on the website for a two by two weave. Then at the widest point, bend it in the middle and you're going to bring the two bale wires back to the bottom. Now, because I've not actually had to hang on, I'm going to take this up there and attach those, because otherwise it'll go all over the place. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, now, you can use the handles of your pliers or something else just to give that a good shape. Bring those back to the front. Give them a twist. And then you can either... Don't do it too tight or you can't get your pliers <laughs> out. <laughs> um, this is where you can add a bit of decoration. You could hand coil round those to put a bit of gizmo or uh, use a bit of gizmo wire on there. Mm -hmm. And you can use that to, to frame your gemstones. Beautiful. And add a bit of colour and texture. Okay. Um, if you've got it long enough, you could do it on both or all three. Mm. If it's not long enough, use the other piece. Yeah. Or you, um, what did I do on this one? <coughs> can I take this one yeah, down? Yeah, go ahead. So I can show it. On this one, I did the coiling, round two of them. Yeah. Um, and then I took them back round and twisted them to do the third one. So we've got a different, another different texture on there. And then take all your finished, your endings, wrap them round the base again mm -hmm. and cut them off. I tuck them inside the bale. Cool. Okay. Fab. So that's that piece. That's and then beautiful. as you see here, I made smaller ones mm -hmm. there yeah. to make that. 
and just made some um, jump rings out of the 0 0.8. Fab. Things like that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Isn't that a gorgeous make? And do you know what I love? It's kind of a bit vintage looking. It is, isn't it? I really like yeah. that. And I think it's due to the technique. I think it's due to the way you strand in it. I think the colour helps as well, it does. actually. It does. Not only that beautiful, rich red coming through in the garnet, but also the uh, champagne gold wire kind of yes. helps with it too. Yes, it does. I am going to bring you this one now by itself. Twelve ninety five for that whole kit. If you just want the wire, we'll bring it to you now by itself. Thank you so much for that demonstration, right. Rebecca. Anyone else feeling a bit more festive after that? It made me feel... I, I don't get Christmassy too early, because otherwise no. I'll, I'll get overexcited. You peak too soon. <laughs> I do yeah, peak I get too it, soon. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't put my tree up till the first... Yes. But at least the first of December. Yeah. And, yeah. I'm, but, I'm always a first of December kind of person, but I am away on the first of December, and then away on the second of December, and then in work on the third of December. Mm. What Very do often do? it's not actually until the week before Christmas and then it oh. takes me the whole week to put it up because oh I've got so God, many ornaments on it. Oh, it's I only it's only Father Christmases, that's all I've got on my tree. That's magical, I love 372 that. at last count. <laughs> I've never heard anything like it, and I insist on seeing a picture of it. I will, it's up. I will do it. <laughs> I am bringing to you extras, extras. Read all about it. 20 metres worth 0 0.8 and 0 0.4. We're going to bring it to you today at 3.95. It is the same gauges as is in the kit, um, but if you need to stock up on wire, then that's quite a grand way of doing it. Remember, if you want that with the garnet and the findings back, you're better off getting the kit. It was 12.95, but it's absolutely up to you. So just treat yourself to it whilst you can. These colours as well are going to go rather well. We've got a lot of blues on this evening. A lot. This coming up. This coming up. This coming up. This we've already done. This is on its way. I've also got this in this hour. Plenty of blues tonight. Plenty Fair. of blues. I love blue. Do you? <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I hope we can get that in again because I need that for my one of my kits in December. Ooh. We're to do an Egyptian kit. <gasps> well, that would be perfect. You have been to. I uh, went to the Tutankhamun ex exhibition and it was incredible. Was it? Really inspired me. Yes. Really inspired me. Feeling very. Egyptian, I can't wait. yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> what? Um, what was? What, was it busy? That's another one. That it I've... was very busy, but it was the first week of it opening. Right. Okay. Um, well, so that's understandable I'd then. Booked the tickets about eight months ago. Wow. And I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And there was a long queue to get in. Yeah. But that's because it was. It's a one-off, isn't it's it? It's a one-off. It will never now. ever be in this country again. No. But honestly, if you get the chance to go, go and see it. it it's one of the best exhibitions I've ever seen, honestly. I'm going to. It's in my calendar. I'll put it in. Let me bring to you a retail quartz now, which actually, for me, feels quite ancient because of all of that yeah. texture internally. Liam says he believes that this is good for the guys. Tell me why, Liam. Well, it's um, unisex jam, in it? It's something that you could just stick on a bit of a... Paracord and... Paracord? <laughs> Talking about <laughs> nylon cord? Nylon cord, yeah. yeah. Paracord yeah, yeah. would never go through any of our gemstones, really. No. I see what you mean. Yeah. Basically, Liam says he'd wear it. That's basically... A bit of leather. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 42 carats worth of your <laughs> black rue tile. £17.95. All of that rutilation internally is natural. It's not, you know, drawn on there or whatever. And what I love about them is when you get them home, you can actually see the quality inside it, which I think is really, really, really interesting. You can actually see all of the kind of different layers and where the shards will go in at different yes. angles. Yeah. So uh, when you just look at it in a picture, it does just look kind of flat. But boy, this has personality. It's got life. Mm. You can, see, you can see movement within the gemstones. Mm. It's one of those I just like to sit and look at. Yes, yes. I think they're beautiful. I really do. This is mesmerising. It's just the character. And this is why we love the genuine gemstone. Mm. 
because they do have that personality mm. and they do have finesse. And the history of them as well. How did that, this, this, those shards, some of them are tourmaline, aren't they? That can yes, intourmalated they are, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how did that happen? So Why are they trapped in there? It's not a million it's miles away from how these are trapped, actually. Yeah. I've got this coming up for you in a bit too. Oh yeah, opal and chalcedony together. It's magic. Well, it's not literally magic. Well, it is Mother Nature's oh, kind I of magic, it's isn't magic, she? Yeah. She is though, isn't she? I think so. Let me bring to you... Now, this is great one for ladies and gents of all ages. Oh, so elegant. Elegant's the perfect word. Have a look. Channel set, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Stanley Silver on that. Mm, yeah, I agree with you. Why do you think it deserves that quality? Just the perfection of each of the cut mm. and, the, and the shape. Mm. It's very um, almost Art Deco. Mm. I just think that is divine. Mm. And the fact that you've got such a large table on these, mm. it means that when the light does hit them, boy, you get the full force of light. You know, that is an impact, isn't it? When that light hits that main table, it's mm. a strike of light. These are, therefore, going to really turn heads. Wow, I would... Uh, it's hard to guess price on something like this because it's so unusual, but it's actually under a tenner today, which I would not have expected because this is spinel, and this is natural spinel. It's not dyed to look that way. It's a natural spinel that we're bringing to you here. So that really is a sensational opportunity for the impact you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. That's a car park job for me. Uh, so what? Car park job. I sit in the car park at the end of the show and buy what I've missed. <laughs> oh, I love it! I've not heard that before. <laughs> yeah, I sit in the car park That's on the car app. park job. <laughs> I love that. On the app and I just go... <laughs> I'm making a, I'm ticking a mental list in my head of what I want, and uh, that's one of them. Yeah. I think that is beautiful. I love that. So that's one that Rebecca's going to be working with not too long. Yeah. Let me bring you a black spinel now in nugget form. The, the drape of this is incredible. And the interesting thing is, you know, when we talk about spinel, we talk about the weight of it. We talk about the density of it. But we don't often talk about the drape of it. The drape on a strand like this is absolutely beautiful. It sits comfortably. It feels luxurious, because let's remember, naturally as humans, there's something inbuilt within our history and within our brain that tells us if something is heavier, it's better quality. And this has that chain-like drape. Just check this out. And imagine, you know, this draping over your decolletage. Imagine this moving and undulating with your body. It's that quality of drape that feels so beautiful. So this is gonna sit really nicely maybe on your collarbone. It's gonna drape really comfortably. And remember, and let me just triply check this. Yeah, see, this is one of those strands. This is a strand that you do not have to re-strand if you do not want. Mm -hmm. I've got one more spinel for you. Wow, the sparkle, the sparkle, and they're in oh. drops. What is good about drops of spinel, please? You've got the movement there straight away in earrings. Yes, that's um, a great point. The shape draws your eye to, to where the sparkle comes from. It's, mm. oh, it's beautiful. I mm. love them. I just love spinel. I, I'd take spinel over black diamonds any time. Interesting. Tell me why. Because you've got as much sparkle as a black diamond, but mm -hmm. it's at a much more affordable price. Oh, yeah. I mean... And, I mean, if you buy a black diamond that size, how many thousands of pounds is that going to be for one? For just one. For one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd have to sell my car and then I'd still owe him money. More. <laughs> yeah, I'd still owe him money. I've got for you 150 carats worth. And we're going to do another brilliant price point for you. Black Spinel now. Under twenty pounds, uh -huh. and I don't mean by five pence. You ready for this? We're dropping it down. We're going to take it under fifteen for you today. We're taking it to eleven ninety-five for that whopping amount of genuine gemstone. Pair it with that garnet from the kit for a really chic look. There's something beautiful about that rambunctious dark Ooh. red with black. I think anyway. Um, snazz it up a little bit with some sparkle. Ooh, what do you think of them together? Oh, yeah. yes. Even just one of those at the bottom <coughs> yes. as an earring. 
yeah. literally. Or as spaces in between them as a, as a really statement oh, brilliant necklace. Brilliant idea. Great idea. Choker, choker length necklace. Lovely idea. Um, 11.95, not long until I bring you the Mystic Topaz as well. Before it though, let me bring you some sunstone. <gasps> How much is this, please? Liam, stop talking about plastic cups. What, what, what? I've asked you a question. How much are these? Oh, oh don't be a tease. Know. It's been a thing you'll have to wait and find out, won't you? I don't know why I put that out tonight. You don't even sound like that. Oh. <laughs> it's not even your voice at all. I'm asking because I think that is beautiful. Oh, look at that. What do There's you think? There's so much. It's because it's flat faced. Yeah. It's flat yeah. faced. Makes such a difference. That is a stunning, unique, and individual strand. It's so hard to show you sparkle on sunstone in yeah. the light. You have to get it at the perfect angle. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. That's amazing. That sparkle is absolutely incredible. Oh, look at it. It's because it's flat face. Also, I love the cut on this. Really individual and unique cut, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Really Set different. an angle like that with it. It's almost yeah. like as you would paint a petal. Yeah. You know, if you paint a petal with like one brush stroke, so you go gently with the brush, push it on further and then taper it off. Mm. It doesn't go perfectly even, does it? It kind of sways off. Does that make sense? That's kind of what these are doing. If you just look again one at a time, you can see that, I think. These have only been on air once before. I think they are divine. I really appreciate these. I think they've got such character and personality to them. And because they're flat facing, as I've said, you're getting all of that sparkle, just hitting that uh, light perfectly. So I'm gonna bring you today. Oh, you're joking. Hand on heart, I know you don't joke. Um, hand on heart. And this may well sound ridiculous now, but I'm never afraid to look stupid. I'd rather be honest. I would honestly, honestly be expecting, if Liam had said to me when I asked, 22 95 yeah. I'd have gone, okay. If Liam had gone 32 I'd have gone, oh, that's pushing it a little bit out of my region. 22 though, fine with that. 7 95 <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? That is you've, a silly you've got price rings, point. You've got Pendant necklaces, you've got. Oh, Two, look four, at that. Six, oh. eight, ten, eleven. Eleven. I've got. Seven pounds ninety-five. I think that is astonishing. You could prong set or, or net those so you could, so that you're still seeing the whole of the gemstone and, and not covering it. But they're incredible. There's so much sparkle in there. I love the idea of doing like a prong set as you've just said. Yeah. yeah. That saying a ring. Definitely. 22, I've got that's all. 22 left now. Even with the um, gold wire that was in your kit, that would be a really nice yes, colour with it, it, wouldn't it? It would. I just think that's stunning. I or love with the, that. Strand. The rose, rose gold copper. Yes. That will pick up the, the, the copper flex. flex. And all of those flex internally, don't forget, are natural. Um, it's the way in which Mother Nature. Implements into the makeup of these, um, these sort of submetallic shards. It's really unique and individual. Seven pounds ninety-five. I think that's divine. Speaking of um, sort of unique and unusual and submetallics, don't forget lapis lazuli is coming up for you later on in the show. Also, as a little reminder, Rooney of tonight's big treat. It is the cubes of aquamarine. Very, very special Ooh. strand that. Not quite like anything I've seen before. For now though, I'm gonna leave those ones with you at 7.95. Well done, I think that's a great deal. I'm about to bring you a stone that we very rarely get to see. Well, sort of, kind of. We see topaz now and again, which is interesting because on the high street, it's one of the best known gemstones, mm. isn't it? It really is. If you walk into a shop, 
nine times out of ten, they're going to have a stand or a window display completely devoted to Topaz. It's very well known. And it's very well known because it's treated to look different in different appearances. I would say that Topaz is best known for its blue treated gemstones. Mm. So essentially, if you get a sky blue Topaz or a London blue Topaz, they would have been treated to look that way, usually via a radiation. Um, most Topaz is treated. And what I'm about to bring to you is one of the lesser seen but very popular color qualities of topaz because wow it's just a bit mystic really start by <laughs> I've got a really, really, really bold Mystic Topaz coming up for you in a bit. But if you want something with a wink and a nod towards that Mystic quality, this, because of the shape and size, is slightly more subdued. I've got your little bit of luxury for less hour coming up for you very, very soon. And this has quite a luxurious sparkle about it. Mystic Topaz is completely unique and individual. It looks so different from anything else. And as I say, at my really big, bold Mystic Topaz coming up later on, you get to see the very varied colors from sort of purple to green. This though almost has more of a gunmetal blue about it. This almost in, in many instances has sort of a nod toward, there you go, you can see it better in the daylight simulator, but you get this almost nod toward a color change gemstone with this, which I think looks so unique and individual. I like the subtlety of this, and I also like that this is a Mystic Topaz, because a Mystic Topaz is one of the most head-turning gemstones. It's one of those gemstones that transcends and translates its color, dependent on the angle, dependent on the eye, dependent on the light. So it almost has a, a variation in personality. What I'm bringing to you is utter sparkle, utter sh shine, and I'm bringing it to you now as a star by deal. So your graphics are about to come live. There they are for you. N B V X 39 is the code on this one, and we're offering to you three by twos on 90, sorry, 29 carats worth of your Mystic Topaz today. It's a beautiful silken grey blue, mm. and what you're getting here is, as you can see on that recording, the elements of purple that just show beautifully, especially in natural daylight. I we were talking earlier on about Mystic Topaz. Yes. It's something that grabs yeah. your attention, isn't it? It is. It's so, there's something magical about it. It, it. it catches your eye every now and again. Mm. You think, oh, where did that colour come from? Mm. And then you can't find it again until, no. <laughs> until it pops up on another one. It's beautiful. We are going to give you a discount deal on this. We're going to roll it in and on and down. And if you do want a bigger, bolder Mystic Topaz, I have got that coming up for you later. For right here, right now, though, just £24.95 as your drop-down deal. Please, Rebecca, what would you do with something like this, let's say, for a glitzy bit of evening wear? Um, I'd be making a, a hair comb with that. Oh, lovely! Because... Yeah, you could have that as as the base of the, the hair comb. Yeah. Yeah, and then have some seed pearls with it so that the colour bounces from them onto the seed pearls. That's a great idea. I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is decadent. Yeah. That is very decadent. And you're going to be able to do a fair few hair combs with this, actually. Just a few. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there you go, at 24.95. Dip, 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 dip. A huge thank you for the earrings I received, oh, yeah, made by think. Susie last weekend. Don't know how I won it. Oh, didn't know I, I didn't won it. it. Sorry. And the post came today. Love from Alwyn. Oh, oh that's I love a lovely surprise. What a treat of a surprise. Yeah. I mean, you get your order through, and then oh. A set of uh, uh, some yeah. jewelry made from Susie. Oh, we're, well, we're so glad well you got done, them. Alwyn. And we brilliant. love hearing when people get their prizes through because, you know, sometimes we'll send off prizes and then we won't hear anything else of them. So it's mm. gorgeous to know that you've really enjoyed getting them and congratulations to you, my love. Let me bring a favourite of a team member now. Smoky Quartz, is it? 
I, yeah. heard, I heard the name, so I assumed it's like... <gasps> it is. Look, they're bars. What do you like about these? That's one of my top five. Why? Because of the colour. Some people don't like black, but a smoky quartz can be used in place of a black gem, a, a dead black gemstone. Mm. And it's not as harsh as a, as a full black. That, mm, just love them. Mm. Mixing that with, with rose quartz as well. Enhances the pinkness, enhances the brownness of that. Mm. They each bounce off each other. Love them. I think I that, that is shape as well. a really, really good point to make, and particularly about the black drum stones. Mm. Sometimes, depending on the richness of your skin tone, the time of year, your hair colour, yeah. black can, can wash like, certain people out, can. can't it? It can. Really, it can. Um, but yeah, you're right. This has got that lovely mid-tone, so it's got that sort of deep and impressive forebode, but it has got a little bit more energy about it. What I'm bringing to you today is 80 full carats worth, and I'm bringing it to you in these wonderful rectangles. Now, that is a really unusual shape to be able to bring you, and um, um, tomorrow my five o'clock mega deal is that kind of shape that way, if that makes sense. I've got like four or five strands, including howlite and um, rhodonite as well in there, fluorite, um, howlite loads. So that's coming up for you at five. But it's a really unusual shape. And the reason I'm bringing that five o'clock mega deal up is because these, because they're a little bit more um, eye-catching this direction. They would mm. go great with the slightly more delicate ones I've got coming up for you tomorrow. We're bringing to you 80 full carrots worth. L, are you 43? Is your code on this one today? It's 0800 644 655 press 1. 1995 is your closeout deal on that one today. Mm, they have a little good. bit of smoking to them, which, you know, 90% of, of all smoky quartz has. So it helps with that depth of, mm. of colour and that depth of quality to them. But that smokiness, so long as you look after it and you don't, you know, keep it in bright sunlight, etc., will stay locked in there. 1995. And it goes great, actually, with with um, Iolite. Yes, it does. Because it? they've got mimicking colours. I did you a double deal on, on these before. Great price if you want to look back. Do you feel free? Well done, one and all, 1995. I'm moving on to... Ooh! February's birthstone. Faceted nugget drops. Now that's different. Ooh. What do you think? I've not seen those before. Me, me either. What an unusual shape. So we've gone with the natural beauty of shape of these, obviously added a facet to them. We've gone for really high yields on this, which means you get a really good carrot weight across the strand. It also means that we get a really good price for it, which we then pass on. But what we've done, which is different, is we've top drilled them. All the way from Zambia. We're gonna do a brand new loan. 26.95 sensational price for the amount you're getting here. Every single one of these could be a pendant, but it's not a brand new low. This is a brand new low. 12 pounds and 95 pence for you now. This is one of the best known gemstones on the planet. There's also price per carat up there because it's a birthstone. That's, that's a general rule. That is your standard fare. But, you know, and I always say this, but it's absolutely and completely true. The first piece of sort of grown up jewelry I ever bought for myself was an amethyst because it's my birthstone. And I bought a piece and it must be carat weight wise around about this size. And I've still got it to this day. I still um, really appreciate it. I still really adore it. Amethyst is the only gemstone in it. I got it on sale because I am a Redican and that's what our family does. <laughs> I got it on sale and it was £165 in a ring. And that was on sale. And that was a good sale. Um, but the fact of the matter is, people are prepared to pay that kind of price point oh, yeah. for this gemstone. Because yeah. people know it. People do know it. People it, know it. So many people have that as their number one gemstone, their go-to for true. wearing, let alone for, for buying. Very, very, very true. It's a, a colour that really suits most people's skin tone. Mm, yeah. I just love that colour of purple as well. I think it feels like a hug. I think it feels like a hug. Let me show you it with. I know this is coming up way later on. Well, like two hours. But I cool. think straight that away that's expensive. more purple. It really brings out the colour of that amethyst, doesn't it? Yeah. It's taking it up. Yes. Yeah. Well done, every single one of you. Okay, I'm moving on. Let me bring. He's thinking about it. He's thinking. I can hear the cogs. Yeah, you can hear a little whir in the background. Yeah, little, little. <laughs> it's 
quite a nice noise, that. Mm. Quite like that. I've never done that noise before, sorry. It's very little things in life that make me happy. Let me bring to you faceted rounds. Now this looks mystic oh, no, and magical. Is, yes. Unicorns, mermaids, pegasus, fairies, pixies, sprites. It's all on here. Oh, straight away I want to make a mermaid. Yeah? With that in the tail. Oh, I love that idea, Ooh. yes! Be great with your Pollen McClay, wouldn't it? Ooh, For wouldn't something it, like Jess? that. Oh yeah. yeah. 80. Oh, do you know what else this would be gorgeous with? Um Viking knit. I can see this down the centre of Viking that would knit. Look good. Because it's so impactful. Yes. Even with that wonderful wire netting, it's yeah. gonna look incredible. Oh, recently we've had those um tools on. You know the, the knitting tools. Pins. Yeah, the knitting they sold pins. out. They did. Oh, did yeah. They? But the they're good because you can, you can put them in as you're knitting it. Mm, that's really good idea. lovely. We've got 80 carats there for 12.95 today. If you do love your blues, don't forget, coming up for you, so many more blues. Et voila, et voila. And of course, tonight's must have. Which is, for us here on The Late Show, a brand new opportunity. It is your incredible, very bold aquamarine in a shape unlike anything else. Fancy getting your hands on it? Good, it's coming up after this break. Alison Terry designer here, really excited. Just been filming my latest DVD with Zena. It's all about the nativity with seed beads. So on this DVD, you're gonna learn how to make Mary, Joseph, the baby Jesus, of course. And we also take you through how to make the wise men and the shepherds. So this DVD is launching on Saturday the 16th as part of the Christmas market weekend. Ho, 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 come and get yours. Hi Joy Makers, Simon here. I'd like you to come and join me on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks. So I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance, it's perfectly good stock. Uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal, even more than usual. And with Christmas coming up, why not come and make the most of the opportunity? So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday the 14th of November for Simon's Picks.
welcome back to Jewelry Maker and thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we've had so many uh, great treats already. Of course, we have had the beautiful kit, $12.95, don't mind if I do. We have also had today Mystic Topaz and I have got more coming up. As well as that, we have had plenty of blues, plenty of blues already, more to come, lapis and um, opal and chalcedony um, and some moonstone as well still to come with blues in it. But I'm going to bring to you probably one of the more famous baby blue gemstones, it's your aquamarine. Aquamarine is very well known and it is literally one of the most aqueous water related gemstone there is, I mean even in the name aqua and marine if you think of marine the marina your water water essentially aren't we what i'm offering to you here today is that iconic aqueous color that wonderful powder baby blue so i'm offering that to you in its very archetypal manner but then we're taking the shape and flipping that on its head because today for the first time for me delicate cubes Delicate cubes of your aquamarine. And the beautiful cubic nature of these is so blatantly obvious in real life. The facets sort of almost take your breath away a little bit when you're looking at it on screen. But seriously, in real life, that 3D cubic nature is just divine. For your interlocking designs, for your um, sort of layered looks, for your 3D builds, for your architectural designs, for your modern pieces, for your sort of, even nod back to historic actually, because these can be sort of, with the facet, it's kind of a a deco-esque design. This is a multi-use, multi-faceted, multi-sided strand. And we're gonna give you a price so that it could be a multi-buy. So the graphics are about to come live. It is this evening's must-have. And remember, the must-have deal is the deal of the evening, which I'm afraid to say lasts for the shortest time of any big deal of the day, because you literally now only have 12 hours, in fact, less than that, until you um, essentially have the closeout price on this. So. I am bringing to you now 40 carats worth of your aqua marine and we are giving to you a very, very special deal. When did this launch? Last month. So we've only had this in the company a month. That's it. That's all. Now, I have got a lovely lady sat beside me who is wearing aquamarine as we speak. Yeah. Rebecca, you obviously like aquamarine. Yes. What is making it's, you smile about this strand? It, it just makes me think of so many different things water-based. Um, water is the giver of life to all of us. And it just I'm, I'm there in the stream, paddling my toes in the stream with mm. that one. Mm. Um, and I love the shape. It, it's perfect for good dainty rings channel set or wear um, a tennis bracelet with channel set but with a bit of weaving in between each one so Divine. that you highlight the colour of each particular gemstone. Beautiful, beautiful idea. And that's what this is about, appreciating each of them individually. Mm. I have got individual nuances of colour in each of these and to be able to bring you such a substantial amount in such a comfortable shape, such a workable shape, so an aqueous, sparkly look and design. This is an incredible deal. We are dropping it down. It's £16.95 for 30 centimetres worth of your aquamarine. I'm going to be offering you about 65 gemstones on this. That could easily be 65 rings. That could easily be, um, um, you know, sort of 30 pairs of earrings and a few charms. That is a sensational deal. Well done to Surrey. Hello, Oxfordshire. Cheshire's in. London's in. Hello to Hampshire as well. Plenty of you now adding this onto your basket. Not entirely sure you thought we were going to go that low in price. Apparently 20% of my stock is now already gone, but it is such a standout design. So and I, don't, I don't feel like any of us are going to be too shocked at that. It is such a stunning look and that shape. You do, I believe,
definitely if you need to see the shape in real life. And remember, it's a no risk purchase. 30 day money back guarantee, no questions, no quibbles, no need to jump through hoops or do handstands. Just send it back and we'll give you the money back. And it's not even like we'll give you a, a voucher or whatever. I, um, I returned a outfit the other day to a shop and I returned it outside of the 15 day return. I returned it and they gave me a voucher to spend the same money and on like one of their gift vouchers, which is fine, but I'd rather have a choice of, you know, spending my money where I wanted. It was my own fault. I was with outside the 15 days, but still, um, that's what we do. 30 days though, not 15, 30 days. I think that is phenomenal. What metal would you pair this one with? Um, silver all the time mm. or copper looks really lovely with with aquamarine and and bare copper because you can you can oxidize mm. the bare copper mm. and that really makes aquamarine pop mm. against the darkness of a, of a patinated copper yeah it's beautiful stunning that isn't it mm. absolutely stunning so what are your friends watching us liam have i just heard hi joe doing Joe? What are you up to? Checking in on your pal? Is this your housemate Joe? No. Your best mate. Oh Joe, he talks about you all he does. the time. Yes you do. Mm -hmm. Yes you do. Dan, how long have you been with your partner? Um, three years. About three years. Yeah. I've heard you speak less about your partner than I have about Liam in a day and with Joe. <laughs> isn't that true, though? Very, very true. That's a lot, yeah. isn't it? I think he's, it, I'd probably add Joe into his interests with dams and... Yes, that's a really good point. He needs to add that into his interests. Dams, trains, <laughs> planes, sorry, romance and Joe. That's, that's most spoken yeah. about here. <laughs> Apparently that's his friendship over now. No, Joe will love that. Joe will love a little shout out on her, surely. I mean, we did make it sound like you're a bit obsessed, which might creep him out a bit, but but it's the truth. Where would you like me to go now, lovely Liam? Light of my life. No, that's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> Let me just remind you, um, I've got so much more to come, but I have got a bundle for now. Let me show you this. Look at that. These are massive barrels. <laughs> wow, look at the size of those. Why is substantial jewellery like this so good for us crafters, please, Rebecca? Oh, it just gives you so, you've got so much space to work for a start mm. in, each, in each particular one. You don't, you only need one to make a statement piece because each, and each one has so much patterning in it. Mm. Um, if you only need one of a huge strand like that, mm. that is an, a massive in, good investment mm. because mm. you can sell each one for however much money you make your money back 100 times over. Yeah. That's a brilliant thing, stuff like that, isn't it? That's yeah. great when you know that it's uh, sort of it's, a... It's a... Yeah, it's a seller straight away, something like that. Yeah. We have got for you now your wonderful agate and it is £14.95 for you today. Your barrels and rounds. Um, Dan, how do you feel about the old Redican roll? Yes, please. Yeah? Which do you think front circles? Yeah? Okay, let's go for it. Because I think it's nice that we get to see all the way around these, don't you? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we've got to move on now, Dan. Hmm. The Redican roll was just too much for him. Boom, bam! Too much fun. <laughs> let me move on for you now, too. <gasps> yes, let me show you the lapis. You've got your eye on this, haven't you, Rebecca? I have. What do you think? Brand new low. Lapis lazuli. One of the most ancient gemstones on the planet. We are in our luxury for less hour and I've got my favourite gemstone coming up for you very, very soon. So many treats coming up in this time. Zircon on its way, but let's now start off with one of the best known gemstones on the planet. If not the best. Say that again, Poppy. Just to let you know, 
this is in 18. Wow. When we think about gemstones, I don't think we can help ourselves but think about diamonds forefront of our mind. I have got for you serious quality, sparkle and shine of your diamonds. Now, when we talk about diamonds, we want a light interaction which radiates from the core of the stone, but also gives you a serious, lustrous quality on the surface. So remember when we're talking about luster, we're talking about outside surface. It's a little bit like in all those hair care adverts, you know, when there's um, sort of beautiful women flicking their hair and they're, they're talking a little bit about, um, what are they talking about? They're talking about like, oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, without this, without this lovely hair conditioner, my hair is so boring and dull and now I put this on, it's just so lustrous. And then she like, you know, jumps through fields with like horses and, you know what I mean? You know those types of adverts, you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, when you're talking about like using conditioner, it's about the luster, the way in which your hair shines. Diamond, when it has luster and it has an internal effect like fire, those are two things that make the best known attributes for diamond. Add into that the fact that this is one of the most... Are you joking? Please tell me the price on this. And don't, don't please tell me the actual price. Don't do, oh, I'm such a funny producer, I'll tell you the price we're gonna start at. That's close out price, yeah? No, that laugh says it's not. Okay, let me just remind you of something really, really, really briefly. First off, great recording. Second off, great quality strand. Third off, have you noticed anything different to this diamond than 99.9% .9 of all of the diamonds that we bring to you? Check out the info at the bottom of the screen, just before jewelrymaker.com. Cognac diamond from Madagascar. Madagascan location, unusual anyway. 3.20 carats, that is like two times, if not more, the average carat weight of an engagement ring. So you've got, you could have an engagement ring weight two times over. But the next bit is AGW, average gram weight. What's at the end of that? Nothing. I've got two left. That's because it's natural. I am bringing to you a natural colored diamond. We have to sift through approximately 10,000 Carrots worth of plain, you know, normal, not coloured diamonds to get one natural colour of diamonds on the high street. Just let that sink in. One in 10,000. So actually, 10,000 times 3.20, those are the kind of maths that we've got here. Those are the kind of maths. I have literally got two left. Right, let's do this. This is scarcity. This is rarity. If you want that kind of Argyle look, although this isn't an Argyle diamond because obviously they're done, they're dusted, aren't they? But that kind of look that you're getting here, you are such a little squirrel. Oh, 95. You're such a little squirrel knockin you are. That is an incredible deal. 995 for you today. That is astonishing. I love, 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 love that. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. Let's do half an eternity. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Five, nah, half an eternity. Let's be more lavish. Go on, Bex, you deserve it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do half an eternity bands worth of diamonds. Nine. That would be for me. I, on this finger, am an approximately an N to O. So about nine there for a half eternity band. Let me count that up again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Nine's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I wouldn't really need nine there, of course, because these are bigger ones, so I'd probably use less there, but still I'm sticking with nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would have three left over. So that is three half eternity rings and three diamonds left over. Yeah. 
For 99.95. So how much is that per ring? 99.95 divided by three is 33. about 33 pounds, isn't it? 33 pounds. I've got one left. When you topped up your car last with diesel or fuel, how much did you spend? 72 pounds. 72 pounds for you? 30, 37 pounds for you? 40 pounds with you, Liam? Uh, 50. About 50 for you? Yeah. 33 pounds for a diamond ring. That's incredible. That's incredible. Literally, I have one left over. That is it. A huge well done to every single one of you. Oh, I've got some great corkers in here. I really do. Okay, let me bring to you now. Now, I'm going to bring to you one of my absolute all-time favourite gemstones. Do you mind if I have this slide behind me, please, Director Kerry? Uh, timeline. Um, I bring to you a wealth of genuine gemstones. And what I love about genuine gemstones is, is multifaceted. But what I <laughs> pun. Uh, but what I love about genuine gemstones is truly multifaceted. But one of the main things I love about them is their history. There's something about holding a gemstone and being connected with a gemstone that is, is almost apparent when you feel it. And I believe it's the history that's locked within it. This is the timeline of our planet, okay? And this timeline's really, really interesting. Let me just sort of briefly chat you through it, if I may. So, if you have a look at the timeline, obviously going from red to green in colour. Um, red sort of the beginning of the planet and green is where we are right now. This section right over here you can see is the space of time which humans have been living on the planet in comparison to the time scale of the planet. As you can see, even though we ourselves have been around for thousands and thousands of years, it is basically a full stop uh, in size, isn't it? It's a tiny, tiny moment. As you can see, the dinosaurs had a much longer period um, of living um, than we currently have as humans, and then we're working backwards. When we get to around about here, this is when we're talking about amber, the age of amber. Amber, one of the most ancient organics on the planet. When we get to around here, we're talking about the oldest diamonds have been found. And when we talk about diamonds, you know, we're talking about history, we're talking about ancient, ancient gems, but diamonds actually only around about this region here. Let's go all the way back into that red zone. The core formation hitting here, the moon formation hitting here, the earth being beginning to spin around about this section here just before the Hadean period. And then look at where Zircon, the oldest piece, is formed. You might think that with all of that, and we're talking around about 4.4 billion years old. You may well think that with all of this history, everything that's ancient, everything that's historic, you may well expect a gemstone which is a little bit murky, a little bit muddy. It's been through a lot, hasn't it, you know? You might expect something that's been a little bit dull, a little bit opaque, a little bit lacklustre. But what you actually get is this, which in my personal opinion is even more exciting and beautiful and impressive and scarce and interesting than that of diamonds. I love this gemstone and I truly, truly do. For me, this is the type of gemstone that makes me smile from ear to ear. When I'm getting that sparkle, I'm getting that quality, I'm getting something that genuinely, I can almost feel its energy. What did you just say to me? After all you've just said, and all that history. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. It is our luxury for less hour though. Please, please do not let that make you think, ow, oh, this is probably, you know, a mocked version, or a, or a treated version, or a filled version, or a plastic version. It's so not. This is a 50 quid's worth strand. Lou, would you be happier bringing this at 50 pounds? Be honest. Be honest. Yeah, yeah, he would. I would. I genuinely would. That is an incredible... <laughs> Liam's going, do you know what? I might actually take this back up. Um, that is an incredible deal. 
1895 is astonishing. This has to be up your street, Rebecca, am I, I right? Uh, absolutely. They're so beautiful. The sparkle you get from Zircon and the, the history of it that you've just gone through, it's... You know, the, those are older than diamonds and oh, at that price. By, like, massive fold. Yeah. Massive fold. Oldest gemstone on the planet. They Zirconology. Are gorgeous. Interesting study into this gemstone. There's absolutely oodles of you getting your hands on this. This is just my my absolute favourite gemstone. And what I love about this one is it's the most eye clean I've seen in quite some time. Stunning. Charmaine, is that right? Charmaine, you've just messaged in with a request. And we can bring you one, but we can only do it off recording if that's all right. Hmm? It's coming up next. Now. Hang on, Liam's going, oh. Hang on, it's not loading yet. Give us a couple of minutes and we'll bring you that request if that's all right, Charmaine. Okay. Let's remember the story of this. Let's remember the history of this. Let's remember that journey of this. And let's also remember when it comes to Zircon, we're talking about something which literally changed the way in which we looked at the planet. So basically, when you think about that timeline we've just seen, at the time, you know, humans in our infinite wisdom had dated the planet to X amount of year old. And then kind of back end of the 80s, um, two gentlemen, um, invested a lot of money into something called a spectrometer. It cost him like, you know, over a million, which in the 80s, you know, it's a lot of money now, but in the 80s even more so. And they basically tested a small little tiny shard of zircon and dated it uh, to a certain point in time, at which point we didn't believe that the earth was even that old yet. So this gemstone has literally changed the way we assess the entire planet. And that's not all actually, it's all to do with like zirconology, it's all to do with, okay, well, if that's formed at that time, that actually means that the earth must have been a different temperature than we thought it was. All of this based around this gemstone. So for me, it's not only the fact that it's historic, it's the fact that it's scientific as well. That's really interesting. We've learned a lot about the planet with this. Similarly to why I like Borsic Amber actually, because that too tells us something about our planet. So zirconology is all about this, it's all about this history. And again, and this could just be me, when I think of something 4.4 approximately billion years old, and I think of something that teaches us about, you know, the temperature of the earth and the science of the earth, I would expect something that was a little bit less effective in sparkle, less effective in brightness, and less effective in colour. But I would be wrong. Look at this strand of zircon. I've never seen us do this colour ever, 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 ever. Greens and golds oh. of your zircon on this strand. <gasps> I have got peaches and purples. I've got golds. No way! How? How? That actually doesn't make any sense because why would I do the clear one for that colour, for that price? Just to let everyone know, this actually doesn't make any sense because we've just done the clear for the exact same price. Is it the same caro and everything? Uh, big caro 1895. You know we were saying just then, Rebecca, about yeah. how sometimes yeah. two lower prices can actually put you off buying. Yeah, exactly. With this, I always feel like, to me, that might make me sit at home and go, oh, I'm gone. Is that going to be treated? Is that going to be dyed? Is that going to be whatever? But, but actually, this is an incredible opportunity, isn't it? To seize the moment. And because you know us. I've only just seen the price. Oh, right. Like, the strand. And for those natural colours. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What would you do They're with this? Beautiful. What would you do with it, Rebecca? Oh, a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be sitting there playing with it for a while until I get my inspiration. Yeah. But it's it's spectacular. A choker, a choker, a wire work choker, with that just picking up the curves in the in the in the in the weave. I think. 
I love because it sparkles idea. so much. You don't need to put banks of them together. Each one is alive on its own. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, I love that idea. I love you that idea. Or that even idea. if you've got oh, a simple black dress, yeah, square neckline, and stitch those round the actual neckline. So you don't need any jewellery at all. No. You've got that just round, just dotted here and there, and it'll make people look. Yeah. Oh, I love that idea. That's a really unique idea, and I love that. Ooh. Um, £18.95 pence for you today. A huge well done to every single one. I have got one more strand. Charmaine, Liam is letting you know that he's found us the strand you want. You can't play it. Sorry. Because it's scheduled, it's in another schedule. Scheduled for the four o'clock hour on the 15th. So put that date in your diary. Um, that's when it's scheduled for. No, oh, sorry. He doesn't want to get told off. Which is understandable. Because no one likes that, do they? Um, well done, everyone. Okay, I've got... Mm. So I've got Mystic Topaz, I've got more Zircon, and I've also got another December birthstone right here right now but I've only got one of this this is the whopper I was telling you about before oh was it yeah Can have a look closely at yeah it, absolutely please? because I haven't seen these up close I am bringing Don't to you track. one and one alone limited edition oh is that all you've got yeah they're massive though aren't they oh they're huge oh they're beautiful what do you do with them Oh, um, a spinner necklace, um, thread it onto oh, silver, the silver thread that we do, the sterling silver. Flex right. Flex right. I've got some on tomorrow. Just mid sure, then, and, and long enough here, say an 1820, so that you can see it, you can fiddle with it. Maybe put a silver bead either side, but you don't need it. No. It's, it's special enough on its own. And it is seriously special. That oh, carrot weight that we're getting in here is it. huge. Final one. 20 bought, one left, one price. 99.95. There was only 20 of these purchased because that's literally all that could be cut out of the piece of rough that we got. We're bringing it to you at 99.95 only today, which for the size of it is astonishing. They're gorgeous. You, you can, can have, have um, 20 hoop earrings with one hanging from the hoop. That's a and great they, get idea. The movement there. That's a great idea. Yes, especially with hoop earrings being very in. Yes, they are. And these they? ones are absolutely divine. Let me show you the drill all on as well. Ooh, it's sizable. It's good, that isn't it? It's really good, isn't it? Okay, we brought you some Mystic Topaz before, and in fact, I'll show you it. And I did mention that there was a Mystic Topaz which was more. Dare I say, mystic? And it's coming up for you. Now. What do you think of that? Isn't that truly spectacular? Isn't that seriously fantastical? Looking at these pieces and looking at those elements, what does it make you think of? Where do you get taken when you're looking at these kind of colours? Because for me, it's somewhere mystical. For me, I'm, I'm you know, planted in Never Never Land. I'm all of a sudden sort of a, an elf in, in, uh, in uh, you know, not Mordor. Where do the elves live in uh, Game of Thrones? I've forgotten now, which is very unusual because I love me some Game of Thrones. But anyway, yeah, not Game of Thrones even, Lord of the Rings. Either or. It is Game of Thrones-y too, isn't it? It's mass magical and mystical. What do you think of this? Where does this take you, Rebecca? Um, straight through the doors into the line of the witch, line of the, witch <gasps> of the wardrobe. Narnia, yes. And uh, use black wire oh. and make the... Ice Queen's, Snow, Snow Queen's, Ice Queen's Great. ring oh, wow. with tiny, tiny, a, a really long, elongated ring oh. with tiny seed pearls dripping from the end as the last bits of kindness from her cold heart. 
Well, I see a new book in it. That, I just think that's a whole new book you've just started there. I was captivated. That's brilliant. I love that. But it is, it's so magical. It's so mystical. And you can so recreate that look. Great deal. Great deal for something that is so unique and individual. And let's face it, that mysticism of this Mystic uh, Topaz is absolutely blatant, isn't it? It really is. Remember, Mystic Topaz is not a natural gemstone. It is a natural gemstone in the sense that the topaz is. But you always need a radiation or coating, etc., to give it that look. Some of the nature doesn't make this. I love that quality of colour. Um, if you have been watching his dark materials we've been watching this uh the uh, based on the philip pullman books uh it's only two episodes in if you haven't it is on bbc it's and if you like the books far. it's always going to be worth a watch isn't it um rippendale susan of course it was yes where the elves live i should have known that rebecca reddican of rivendale i can see that and I've got a bit of a pointy ear. <laughs> well done, everyone, on that one. Okay, I've got so much more to fit in. And right now, one of the most expensive gemstones when it comes to showing off. When we think about today and all of the glamorous people who love maybe having their photographs up there on Instagram to get all of the likes and uh, maybe to get all of the people sharing that picture and sharing their comment. It's in essence all about kind of, you know, enjoying what you have, showing off your wear and also showing off your trends, your fashion, etc. This is basically the really historic version of that because back in ancient times, this used to be crushed up into a powder that was then used alongside chemicals to create a beautiful vivid blue paint so in any of those historical paintings where you see a lot of blue being used in the background the commissioner of that painting is essentially saying look at how cool rich and popular i am i am bringing to you right here right now the boldness and the history of the artistry stone that is lapis lazuli <laughs> I am bringing you've got a real put I... yourself down attitude stop it <laughs> yeah yeah you Liam I am bringing to you now star by quality and I have got for you a stunning double sided beauty that is your lapis lazuli I think these are dramatic. I think these are statement. I think these for me are something which is quite, um, well, I'm trying to think of some high-end brands that I could imagine working with this. Ashley Clark, yes, 100%, they love this kind of shape. Uh, Le Boucheron, well, they do work with Lapis Lazuli, so why change the habit of a lifetime? Let's think about Shopard. I can imagine Shopard working with something uh, like this, especially with a pure gold uh, alongside it. Um, who else can I imagine? Bulgari, definitely they would work with something like this. There are many different high-end designer brands that I can imagine working not only with this gemstone, but with this actual shape. Don't you think? Yeah. Actually, last time I went round Harrods, it sounds like I go all the, all the time. Oh, I love went, that. Yeah. Just the last time I popped into my local Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> now I went round the, the jewellery displays there and then the, there was a, a glorious nine carat gold and pure lapis lazuli bars, mm. just like that, set with carnelian as mm. well. <clears throat> I won't tell you how much it was, but... Give us a clue. Was it, it more was, than... A, um, a, a thousand pounds. Yes, it was. It was more than a thousand. You could you could uh, times that by ten. Wow. And yeah, this is why I don't that, shop at Harrods. The quality oh, yeah. or little. It oh, was no. beautiful. I don't <laughs> know who expensive. the maker was, but because they have some amazing jewellery. Yes, there. yeah, they do. Yeah. Some big names. Yeah. Now, last time that this is on air. The price was dropped down. It was reduced. There was a live on air deal of just twenty five ninety five. However, you're now in your luxury for less deal. Oh, for goodness sake! We're bringing to you a star buy. 
I'm also, whoa, okay, well, I was expecting two quid off. Nah. 18 pounds and 95 pence for you today. You've got 122 carats worth of your lapis lazuli and you have got these incredible bars, 15 by six, 31 by six. So you've got that graduation in length on these ones, top drilled. Can I just ask you something? This has got to be taking you back to that exhibition in London, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it, there's one piece in particular, one of his um, breastplates. So for anyone who's just tuned yes. in, Rebecca's been away the, uh, to yes. London, haven't you? And what yeah. did you see when you were there? I went to the Tutankhamen ex exhibition and they had displays of some of the jewellery that they found in uh, inside. Mm. And the main gemstone that was used was lapis lazuli um, and gold everywhere um, and carnelian was the other one mm. and turquoise as well. That was the most gigantic piece of turquoise you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> um, but lapis lazuli was the main thing. It was their most precious gemstone for their, mm. at the time, most precious king. Mm. And oh, it was magical to yeah. see it. Yeah, I bet. It really and, took And to it. think those thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago was lapis lazuli that looked just like that. Yeah. It's not changed in all no. those thousands of years. No, yeah, which is incredible, it isn't is. it? It is. And also remember too, it genuinely did look like this because not only were the sort of stripes of lapis quite popular then, but also yeah. this is a natural version. So this isn't one of the dyed versions. This is the natural version, which obviously is what they would have been working with too. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't have been, you know, grabbing out their, you know, washing machine dyes, would they, to, to pop on it? <laughs> obviously. 1895. Let me bring you one more lapis. This is exceptionally limited stock. Why am I putting that there? Uh... These are in the rounds, exceptionally limited in the stock. Well, this is perfect. If you love the look of that, but maybe you want something whereby they're not spaced out by our plastic spacers, et voila, for you. A 100% lapis lazuli design. I love, wow! Bad boy of jewelry maker strikes again. He's gonna bring you lapis lazuli. Oh, there's only two left now, 6.95. Two left now. How about with one of these hanging from it? Next, yeah, I think it's quite powerful. Look, I want I would do maybe the smallest one. Quite like that, don't you? Hmm. That is still available. We did a best ever price on Look these the, ones. The point is that has gone blue. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Soon as you put it, it next to the, the lapis. Mm. Uh, over allocated now. Good luck. Okay, poker Lee. Let me bring you. Some rainbow moonstone now. Are these in the drops? Mm. Yeah, no, my numbers are out of sync. They are perfect. Let me bring to you drops. You know how Rebecca was talking about that sort of um, Narnian ice queen ring with like sort of the drips coming from the ring? This could be a perfect addition. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I love moonstone. Tell me what it is about this moonstone that's grabbing your eye, Rebecca. The flashes of blue. That is proper rainbow moonstone. Yeah, it is, isn't it? There's every single one has got colour coming from it. Mm. No matter where you look. Oh, yeah, you've got, you've got to make jewellery with that that moves. Because it, it really catches people's attention. They, they see a flash of colour and think, where, where did that come from? And then look and they can't see it. And yeah. It's magical. There is so much on here. So much. Should I count up as if they were earrings? Shall yeah, I? Go on. Uh, 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 might take some time. Talk amongst yourselves. Liam will bring in the price so you can start checking out. One pair, two pair, three pairs, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pairs, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one pairs, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 pairs of earrings. 37 pairs of earrings for 29.95. 81 p per pair, Liam's just told me. It's basically 40 p per, per lobe, isn't it, if you did it that way? That is a sensational deal. Right, let's think, everyone, what was the last thing you bought for 81 p? I mean, there ain't a lot, is there, around the 81p. Chocolate bar. Good, the yeah, chocolate yeah, bar. yeah, yeah. Packet of crisps. Packet of crisps I bought the other day and it was 80p. A can of Coke, a uh, cola from the vending machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. They're 80 pence. Yeah, 80p. I mean, you're not getting a lot of money for your... You're not getting a lot for your money, are you? Really, 80 pence. But with this, genuine gemstones of earrings. Stunning. Well done all. I'm going to bring you another moonstone now. This time a rondelle. Rondelles roll, which means you get more of that shine. That's lovely, isn't it? Really very, very pretty. Oh. I love that sparkle. I love that shine. That colour quality is just luxurious. More carrots than the last in the rondelles we're bringing to you. And it's £17.95. Well, that's the price it's going to be anyway, when the graphics come live. We love a rondel here at Jewellery Maker. We really do. Why is it so good for us crafters, please, Rebecca? Um, it gives you more space to put other gemstones, if you like. It sits better with with other gemstones because you've got that flat edge to them. Mm. So if you've got a, a bigger stretch gemstone, it, it sort of hugs the other gemstones instead of bouncing against it if it was a, a, a smaller round. Mm. That's a good description. They're brilliant for, for spaces between pearls. Mm. And yeah, that's oh. going to absolutely reflect beautifully, isn't it? Mm. Sensational strands there. £17.95 pence on that one today. Keep dialing. Well done. Let's move to, there's nothing in that box. <clears throat> I've got Morganite Cabochons. Near. <laughs> Near. This is an incredible, incredible colour. The real peach. Now, this isn't quite your salmon. There is no salmon colour. There is salmon colour, sorry, in Morganite, but this I don't think has it. I think this is more of that peach, peachy mm. pink. Mm. Peachy pink colours generally are more saleable. And let me show you the sizeability of this one, but also the depth of this one. That is just sublime. I am bringing to you today 40 carats worth of this Morganite. And as I say, it's not quite, it's not quite, wow. Morganite, one of the best known gemstones on the planet when it comes to sort of fame and it comes to, you know, the person who discovered this, who it was named after, AKA. We all know the story, we all know the tale. This is a gemstone which, is generally in this kind of pink palette, but it varies. Salmon color at the moment, the GIA is saying, is the least saleable of the colors. It has the least impact on the high street market. And it's more this kind of peachy pink and baby pink that is more popular. Yeah, that is a sizable piece I've got here, but look at the depth of that one. Imagine using your gallery wire with this one that I'm holding now. That's gonna look incredible, especially Ooh, if you've yeah. got the gold one, actually. Yeah. It's gonna really bring it out of itself, <coughs> isn't it? It would. it would. 24 pounds and 95 pence. I've got to move on. It does indeed. Let me bring to you now fasted rondelles of your Morganite. This is what I'm talking about. Let me show you the difference. Same gem, totally different hue. No, yeah. totally different. Morganite's Kerry's favourite. 
Is it the colour? Yeah, yeah, it's the colour. And the colour of this is really nice and intense, isn't it? I mm. like that intensity of it. I mean, that recording's on a black background. You would expect that Morganite to go, oh, no! I'm being overtaken! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's been overrun because that colour is so dark. It's such a juxtaposition. But it's not, is it? This Morganite is standing its ground. This Morganite, even though you've got that depth of colour in the background, is absolutely catching your eye. And the same against the white. Again, sometimes when gemstones are photographed on pure black and or pure white, one will be better than the other. But the colour and the clarity on this Morganite is so good, it stands up to both, which is really unusual for this gem. Totally natural. This is literally luxury for less. I've got limited availability on these ones. It's $39.95 and that is uh, for 48 full carats worth. That's a lot. That is a lot you are getting in there. I think that's divine because of the intensity of it. So the great thing about having that intensity, sort of the benefit of the intensity is you can literally use three of these and your impact there. Mm. Sometimes when strands are a little bit more diluted, you need a lot to cause a fuss, but not with this. No. Literally three of these, say, so, ring. I mean, that is gonna hold its own, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Even, let's go right to the end. Let's do three tiny, tiny ones on the end. Not that they are that tiny, actually, but, I mean, look. Even just three in a ring. Mm. They're so impactful, they kind of do the job for you. $39.95, one more for you now. And I'm gonna go before the Cal Sendley. Let's bring you a little bit. Oh, sweet. A little bit of a baby peach color now. Something nice and delicate about Morganites like these because they are more opaque and therefore it's all about the color. The last one I brought you was all about the translucency, the sparkle, it was all to do with the color. This one's a little bit more of a baby pink color. So if you just really appreciate that delicacy of that kind of powder pink, then this is the one for you. 25 carats worth for you today and we're gonna give you a drop down deal. 12 pounds and 95 pence, one of the most affordable shape Morganites we've been able to bring you. I think that was really pretty, don't you? I think that was really lovely. Um, £12.95, grab it whilst you can, and it is entirely natural, just so everybody knows what we're dealing with here. It's a lovely, luxurious, natural quality. Liam's doing an impression of Basil Brush now. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, he's saying. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I liked it. I saw Basil Brush um, at, um, in Redditch, not that long ago. Anyway. Yeah. Let me bring to you now a star buy. And this star buy is a little bit of something different. Mother Nature forms gemstones completely uniquely. And sometimes, and let's face it, we've all been here. Sometimes Mother Nature will have so much going on that actually what happens is maybe two individual elements will just naturally form into place together. It doesn't happen that often. Usually gemstone structures, especially when they're this vastly different, will be, you know, polar opposites. They will be apart, they won't connect. And if they do, it will be for one moment, one join, and then that's it, separate. These though, two completely different chemical structures. So at home with one another, they literally became home of one another. Start by. <laughs> you imagine a genuine gemstone being formed and you imagine that usually let's say let's take one of the best known um sort of uh, um forms that we know if you imagine a geode okay so am amethyst geode you've got the host rock around the outside and then you've got the crystals pointing inwards and as they grow they literally grow in and they become denser and denser and the geode becomes fuller and fuller until it's entirely full most times um unless it's taken out of the ground before that happens um but yeah that's the general rule that's generally what happens with this gemstone something very unique has uh, has occurred what you've actually got here 
is chalcedony forming within the crust of the Earth, as it does in certain parts of our planet. The chalcedony itself is forming in structures, in lines and in layers, and as it's forming in different lines and in different layers, part of that forming process, which as you know, it's not happening overnight, it's not even happening over a decade, we're talking centuries and centuries here, but as that formation is taking place, they are at certain moments in time, because this is Australia and because of the weather pattern there, we are getting times whereby when there is rarely and scarcely a downpour that takes place, little tiny elements of silica are being collected. And what happens is they are collecting and they are forming and they are resting in these momentary pockets. And as they rest and as they stay there, the hot, hot heat comes and the liquids evaporated. And this kind of process can happen in Australia literally decade after decade after decade. The rain pours, silica's picked up, the, the, it's then heated to the crust of the earth, so all of that evaporates and it leaves, like in some parts of Australia, it will leave um, like a millimeter's worth of, of opal at a time. And that can be a millimeter a year, you know, it's tiny. So this process, that type of process happens, but in this instance, it's happening as part of the makeup of the chalcedony. So literally what you have here is chalcedony and opal naturally housed within one each other. Perfect for togetherness. Can you see the striations Look, for example, in this one here. I mean, that's a pure example. You can actually see the natural formation of the crystals themselves. You can see literally how these crystals are forming and they're forming in, land, uh, in bands and how there's silica left over and then that gets the water gets evaporated, the liquid gets evaporated and then a little bit more is left and then the chalcedony grows more and then more opal will come in maybe a few years later. That makeup, that structure is so individual and unique, which is why this is such a scarce pairing. The great thing with this stone, and I wish I could show it to you properly, but I can't see my torture truth, is that when you're looking at this, you're getting the blue opaque area. You're then getting that wonderful icy gray, which is translucent. Different depths, different appeals, different gemstones, one great price. £19.95. Now, my guest design today, completely randomly, yeah. happens to have this gemstone on. Rebecca, tell us why you love this stone so much. Because every one is so completely different. Everyone's got its own character. Oh, I just love them. I, blue's my favourite colour anyway. Um, but I, I just love the structure of those gemstones. The stripes are all different. You can place them together to make pictures. I, I love them. I love them. And as you say, that translucency in, in parts, if you wire up those but leave the back clear, you get the light shining through as well. They're lovely. They're such a beautiful blue. It really such is. Such a beautiful blue. But different shades within, different tones within, within that blue it's yeah so beautiful it's not it's just like flat blue flat gray flat blue no. flat you know what i mean no. it's not like a boring sandwich Ugh. not that i would want a blue or gray sandwich to be honest but yeah it's not that dull it's like the, that transition of colors really, there's loads yeah. of different baby blues it's really interesting to what to look at yeah it is it is very very interesting to look at it's just stunning Really it is. Well done. 1995. If you uh, um, if you like that as the drops, I'm gonna bring you the sort of central line section, if I may. And this is is this very similar to the pieces you're wearing? Or is, is it the I, same? What's the code on? It's that strand. <laughs> is it this strand? <laughs> it is, yeah. Okay, I've gotta ask you about the pieces you've made with this yeah. then that you're currently wearing. Yeah. Well, the bracelet is um, three of those and w mixed with um, aquamarine, the little Beautiful. rounds we've had on before, mm. and just swirls of swirls of whirls of weaving. <laughs> and, that, and my pendant um, is a 
something I'm experimenting with at the moment called a heady wrap, mm -hmm. where you have several gemstones of different sizes um, and you put them together on, onto a base, mixing up your weaves mm. so that you get lots of weaves that accentuate the positioning of the stones. Mm. Um, it, it, I love doing them. Yeah. They take forever, but I love doing them. But it's them. worth it. It is worth and it. And that accentuation of the wire really accentuates the quality that's it naturally does. in these, isn't it? It does. Is yeah. that why it was the perfect choice for that design perfect for you, this choice. gem? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I have got for you 96 carats worth, again, entirely natural. We're bringing to you a fabulous deal, 19.95. Or is it, says Liam. He's gonna go lower. Why, Liam? Uh, because this was Rebecca's favourite. Oh, I'm getting the blame for it, am I? Yes! <laughs> I love when we blame a guest designer. If oh, management lovely. are watching, it's all Rebecca's fault. Uh, and I don't mean me. Uh, yeah, let's blame Rebecca. Um, by the way, if you do love a bit of management, I've got one of them on here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have got Simon's picks taking place tomorrow. Simon is our um, head of merchandise and he loves to bring us a bargainacious deal. Um, so if you um, do want to treat yourself, because it might be his last one before the end of this year, mightn't it? Oh, we do one every month, sorry. So maybe not. I think my head's in December already because I've been chatting about putting on my Christmas tree. I don't know, it uh, feels but like yeah, it, it? But yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, if you do love that, then um, that is coming up for you. So it will be the last one before you can get them home for mm. Christmas. It's a great point. Basically, what he does is he comes on air and gives us management deals that we love. <laughs> um, I've got so much more to bring to you. After the break, I've got a second kit. Totally different feel to the first, except it's under. And Don't go anywhere, we'll be back. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I was just sat here thinking, you know, the big build up towards Christmas, December. Personally, I don't think December is December without our good friend, the Advent Calendar. Getting up every morning and opening those little doors and getting your little chocolate or your little Christmas surprise. So, for the first time ever, Jewellery Maker have produced their very own Christmas Advent Calendar. So every morning you're going to get up, you're going to open your little doors, and inside will be some beads. 24 different beads. And on the 25th, the special day, you'll be receiving a DVD with five make-along projects to use up all of these little surprises that you've been building up over the month. So join us for Jewellery Maker's very first Christmas Advent Calendar. Cheers. Alison Sari designer here, really excited. Just been filming my latest DVD with Zena. It's all about the nativity with sea beads. So on this DVD, you're gonna learn how to make Mary, Joseph, the baby Jesus, of course. And we also take you through how to make the wise men and the shepherds. So this DVD is launching 
on Saturday the 16th as part of the Christmas Market Weekend. Ho, 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 come and get yours. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker and welcome to Woodpecker! Hello! Who has been challenged? <laughs> this, this is quick, mate. Is a serious, serious kit. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration with these makes, please. Christmas. Straight away, I'm in, I'm in Christmas mode now. But the colours were, were just so joyful. Um, and I knew that we were going to perhaps have a tool on later on that you could use. I thought I'd teach you how to use that. Fab. And so I thought Christmas tools, round things, sparkly gems. We need to show off the gemstones. We need to show off the wire, make Christmas decorations make Christmas decorations that you want to wear, make earrings, mm. all using the same way technique. of doing it, the same mm -hmm. technique, that's the word. <laughs> I forget my words sometimes. Oh, so do I, don't worry. Um, so, yeah. So tell us what you first off thought of, let's start off with this section, the yep. wire and the findings. What do you love about our wire and findings? Uh, the findings you need constantly. Um, I'm going to show you how to make your own head pin because these head pins aren't long enough for a Christmas decoration, so I'm going to show you that. Mm. But straight away, you've got your own earring findings, you've got ready-made chains, so you've not got to sit there making hundreds and hundreds of jump rings. Mm -hmm. You've got wonderful clasps. Um, that are they're, they're so lovely, those are. the perfect size. Mm. Um, and you've got, of course, the head pins there that you could use just to make simple earrings, the base mm. of earrings mm. on their own. We've also got in chain. here, sorry to interrupt, we've yeah. also got in here 10 metres with your 0.6. What do you like about a 0.6? 0.6 is you can use it as almost a structural wire. If you use it, I, my own personal wire choice is 0.6 with 0.25 right. as the wrap. That's because you love your delicacy, isn't I it? I love my delicacy, yes. Mm. I like getting tiny, tiny details into my, mm. into my pieces, and you, you can only do that with a 0.25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the we that's why the weaves look more intricate. Yes. Um, but you can still make things with 0.6. You can make ear wires. Some people don't like the 0.8 thickness of ear wires. Yes. They like a, a more delicate ear. Mm ear wire. Um, you can make jump rings, you can make double jump rings that will hold their, their mm. strength. Point 0.6 is a very, very strong wire. Yeah. Some people think, oh, that looks really thin, mm. but you'd be surprised how, how strong it is. Mm. Especially really if you hammer lovely. it, I suppose, as yes, well. Yes, definitely. Especially. If you have hammer it, it's perfect. You can make a, a tiny little paddle on the end, on, underneath the gemstone, that will hold the shape there. I've got to talk to you about this strand. Mm -hmm. What sprung to mind when you saw the colours? The colours first off struck me as I said being being very joyful. And I I actually opened them when I was in my lounge, which is quite dark because I've only got side lights. And I saw the main colours, 
but it was only when I took them into the kitchen where I've got bright lights <laughs> that I thought, oh my goodness, they're coated. They've got different colours on. Mm. They've got the sparkles on the sides. Mm. It's, oh, they're lovely. And the crackle, the crackle within them gives, gives a, so much detail to the pieces. Mm. And then you've got the cut, which is so unusual. Yeah. We don't get that cut at all. So what Very do you like often. about that cut? It's, you've got the almost a rondelle because you've got some flatness to the edges, mm. but you've still got the facets there that actually give you the, the sparkle and the, the bouncing off of the light. Mm. I love them. And the actual sort of facer facets of this are so interesting because they're a curved facet. Mm. I am looking around next to me and I've got curved stones. This is coming up for you in this hour. I've got curved stones, but this has got flat facets. Yeah. That has got flat facets. That has got flat facets. This has got flat facets. This has got flat facets. Flat facets are the norm. Mm. But this one hasn't. No. Because actually to get the shape of this, what you've needed to do is dome and bow every single one of these facets. So it gives a real lovely um, smoothness, I it think. It does, it does. They, they feel, I love the texture of gemstones. And they f they're beautiful to touch. Mm. I'm going to bring to you today an over the rainbow deal. And let me just let you know, the start price on this, the web price, is £26.35. Today, £12.50. Oh, every single sake. pound, every single penny. It should be just shy of £27. Pounds. I'm bringing it to you at a way better than half price deal right now for your Over the Rainbow collection. That is a brilliant discount deal that we've got there. That's a 52% discount. 52% saving we're bringing to you. Uh, I mean, for that strand alone, which is so unique and individual, and you can see the beautiful shape of it when uh, we look at, um, you know, mm. Rebecca and her mates in a bit. These are just beautiful, the way that these look. They've got such personality. They're so impressive. Well done to Leicestershire. You're in straight away. London's in Gloucestershire. Don't forget, if you're watching at home right now and you're watching there and you're relaxing and you're thinking, never bought from Jewelry Maker before. Why not give it a go today? Why not? It's a free phone number. There's no payment fee that you have to pay to join us. Do you know what I mean? Like some places you'll like pay a certain amount a month to get the best deal. We, we give everyone the final closing price here at Jury Maker. And um, also, if you do join us for the first time tonight, you get for free two genuine gemstone strands and a free DVD. So it's, it's goodies galore. And if you try it out, you change your mind, Send it back, 30 day money back guarantee. No questions, no quibbles. But just why not give it a go tonight? And we are gonna have a demonstration. Could someone who's new get involved with this demo? Oh, yeah, very easily, very easily. Because I'm going to show you how to use a tool, but I'm also going to show you another method where you don't use this tool. Perfect. Okay, so, so we've, we've got two methods to make the same thing, basically. And that is what we're going to dive on into right here, right now. Don't forget, if you've got any questions for us, we are currently live. Well, that depends. If you're watching live, we're live. If you're not, then we're not. Okay. We are live if it is approximately. That clock is still very, very wrong. That says nine minutes past one, my tablet. It's not nine minutes past one. If it is approximately nine minutes past nine in the evening, and it is a uh, Wednesday, I want to say. Wednesday. Is it? Then you are currently <gasps> watching us live. Do feel Binder. free to text us in. If you've got any questions for Rebecca, you Please absolutely do. can feel free to ask her. For example, Rebecca, what is your favourite place to go on holiday? The Thames. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. That is, is that? A it boat, can be jewelry related. Boat on the Thames, mooring at a pub every night. It, Oh, Wonderful. twist me arm. <laughs> I'm there with you next time. Yeah. Um, okay, should we get crafting? Let's do okay, it, Rebecca. Okay. It's over to you. All right, first of all, I'm going to use the Wags white comb just to make the Which earrings. Got. And we've got some later. Uh -huh. I'm using the, the several different types. I use the long one mm -hmm. to make that one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, made, I've used my stubby one, or I think it's the middle size one, to make yeah, the earrings. Yeah, it's the original. So, 
some people get very stuck with using a Wags wire comb because they can't get the wire out when they've finished. Mm -hmm. You start by putting your wire through the hole at the top and then start twisting. And I always make sure I leave a little bit of a, a loop there. Can you see how I've pointed it over there onto the... There, I've left a little bit of wire there before I start turning. Once you've done one turn, it's secure. And then you just hold your wire in, in your non-dominant hand and then turn the Y cone handle, keeping your thumb close so that you don't leave a gap in your wire there. The Wags Y cone is currently on screen for you. The one we're showing is the mini version as it's all we currently have available in stock. This is a brilliant size, same sort of use, same technique. Yeah. And also this is a great to create the cone shape when you put a pearl on top and it creates that little um, like ice cream yeah, cone design that Jan's made, for example. Yeah. Um, so if you do fancy grabbing it, that is available yeah, now. Perfect for bead caps, perfect for ends of bracelets. Yes, um, great done point. Mac macrame. Cro okay. Covering up those ends and stuff. That's right. Okay, so we get to the end. Cut your wire off the reel. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we get to the point where you need to get, because you can't get it off, because that's in there. So because I left that tiny little loop there, I see that on the overhead, it's difficult there. Because I left that little bit there, I can now clip that there. And... The bit that I threaded through comes out and that pops off. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Love that. But the first few times I did a Y cone, well, I must admit, I threw my first Y cone against the wall because I got so frustrated with it. Did you? Until I learnt that little trick. Right, now we need to make, close up this, the top end. So you take round nose plowers, the ones that go all the way round, hold on to the end of the wire that you've just cut and oh, bend it into the middle. Try and make a tiny loop in the middle. I'll show you why in a minute. The bottom piece, you're going to make another loop again. But leave this one open because that is going to go round the bit in the middle. Now, I've done that as an open spiral, if you can see there. I've not done it as a closed one. I've left the tool open. Okay. Uh -huh. Then this one is where you could use one of your head pins. Can I Which use one of those? That you did get pardon? Yeah. Can I use one of those? Mm -hmm. and I'll replace yes, you can. It with one out of my kit. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the with the kit, you actually got head pins. These will fit through. Okay. In this, and I'm going to I'm going to randomly. I'm not going to look at the colours. Because I am notorious I was for, just ask you that. for trying not to mix colours up. I try to keep colours separate. Oh, well, they do actually tone together. But yeah, well, that's nice. That's random. Yeah. I force myself to do it sometimes. Okay, I'm going to thread that up through the top, through that loop that we made at the top, until it about reaches there. Okay? Lovely. Then I'm going to do... A simple loop at the top, I'm going to bend it over like that. Simple loop, I use my six step loopers to do that, which is just bend the wire over the top until it meets the wire where you've bent it, like that. And then, careful not to snip the rest of the wire, but just get your tool in there and cut it. And that there then is the top where you could put in your earring finding. And then we come back down to where the gemstones are and just gently squeeze the loop that you did against your head pin. Okay. And that will keep that in place there. So it will always hang in the middle. Okay. So there's your base for an earring. That's beautiful. That's using it? the Y cone. But a wax Y cone will only stretch so far. I could have stretched these a lot further, mm -hmm. but you need, and, they, and they're still very narrow, mm -hmm. aren't they? When you, when you look at that, the, the base of this one is quite narrow. Mm. I want to make one wider than that. Okay. Okay. So you could get something like your ring mandrel that we've got. 
this is my new one. <laughs> Why have you got a new one? Oh, I've got loads, but every now and again I treat myself to a new one because because I'm a wire worker and I use this for use it for hammering on. Yeah. Occasionally, especially around the the N N two O, where which is what I made a lock, lot of the rings off, it gets damaged. Yes. It, it wears it away. It wears away. Yeah. They're still perfectly usable for hammering. Mm. Um, or for doing something like this. But it's easier so, to size when you can see yeah, the sizes. that's right. That's right. Yes, exactly. So this is a wider base, so you can just hold the top, wrap, 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 wrap. And are you pushing them really close together or are you letting oh, them breathe a bit? I'm just letting bit? it breathe, yeah. yeah. Because I'm going to pull it apart anyway, so I might as well let it breathe. And I've got trapped in there, so I'll just cut that. No, I'm not going to cut that off. There we go. And then you can still do the same. and. Put your loop in the top. Um, there we go. I'm going to go round a little bit just to narrow that. And then pull that. There we go. <laughs> That's a bit right, cool. Yeah. But the other way to do it is to make a hand coil. And you can get bigger and bigger. I'll show you how to start it first and then we'll go on to that one. So what wire is this thickness? This one is actually one mil because okay. I wanted a bit more stability to it because, because it's in an open piece. Yeah. Like this. Because it's an, op an open piece, you need a bit more stability to it. Oh, have you got, got some? Yeah. I've got 0 0.8, which yeah. is more stable than the 0.6. Yes, it is. So if it you is. do want to do this look, we haven't yeah. got any one mil well, in I'll our availability. Yeah. But if I bring this to you quickly now, 10 I'll metres do worth. 0.8. This one in the kit is 0 0.6, I've this one is a 0 0.8. 0.8, so it's sturdier, it's stronger, and we will do the demo with this. Now, we're making it just 2.95 for all 10 yeah. metres, so if you fancy grabbing it, you can now. I'm just doing a one mil so that you can actually see it Yeah, why not, yeah. I'm okay, so I'm working off the reel again, and I'm going to make a very tight loop in the end. Very tight. What's your tip on making that mega, mega tight loop? Is Get it... your finest, finest round nose pliers, mm -hmm. okay? These are out of one of the kits we did sell here and they're mm -hmm. my favorite because they are really, really fine right round nose. Once you've done your first loop and made your, your P-shape, it does look like a P-shape, mm. you've, you've got an end there. So I go in with my flat um, wire cutters and I, Take off the first bit, like that. And then I go back in with the round nose, holding it at the end. Back in it goes. And do it slowly and gently. And now it's looking more like a round. Yes, it is. Yeah? Yeah. It's not as much as a P. Because the base of that wire is cut straight, so it will sit flush against the wire that's coming towards it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, you'll only be able to do a couple of turns with your round nose pliers before you meet the wire again and your tools get in the way. So now you need to change to a different plier. Some people like to do it with the wire on the top. I like to do it with the wire on the bottom. It's personal preference and the way you, you like to hold it. Okay. You're going to make the wire do the work. You're not going to force it round with the pliers. You're going to hold the pliers on your spiral that you started and then move the wire okay and you're putting quite a lot of pressure on that no not at all because i've got my hand away from the pliers mm. here it's creating a lever effect mm, i see yeah and then back to where it's got to move it round back to where it's got to move it round like that i'm not going very close at all and you can keep going like that and it is literally a little degree it's just you're a going, little isn't bit it? At a time. Would you but even say it's a quarter see how of the circle? Not even, not even quite. No, no. a quarter is probably about a sixth of the circle. Mm, yeah. Can you see how closely you can't see any gaps in that None at, at all. all? No. There's no gap. If I put something dark behind it, there are no gaps mm. in there apart from the one in the middle. Mm. Okay. Once you get to a certain point, though. It's difficult to do it with your tool, A, because your wrist is getting tired from holding the, holding the pliers tight <laughs> while you're doing it, and also it will start slipping. 
And if you're using a plated wire, you could damage the wire, which mm -hmm. you don't want to do. Mm -mm. So that's when the oldest tool in the world comes into place. Your hands. <laughs> there we go. And you just put your finger and thumb, thumb on the bottom. No, what's that? Finger. Finger. Finger on the bottom, thumb on the top, and then keep doing exactly the same. And now it gets quicker. You can keep going like that. Quicker and really. Don't do it too quick. Don't rush because it's it's. Oh look, I can go quickly. Don't mm -hmm. do that. Be be more precise with it, and you'll get more precise curves. If you do make a mistake, can you go back? Yeah, you can go back um, gently because it's a curve. Mm. You're not going to damage the wire so much. You will you will still get a little kink in it, but it it won't be noticed noticeable in this sort of pattern. Um, now you can keep it tight like that or you can start going a little bit wider. Trying to give yourself a little gap in between each. And do this by eye. Just see how much of a gap you're leaving. Like that. So we're getting an open spiral. And this will give you a wider base to your decoration. Now I'm, I'm rushing this. I would do this a lot more precisely if I was at home. Okay. I think that's about enough for this. I'm going to cut that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so now we've got a flat spiral, we need to get the middle of the spiral upwards. So you can either use your wax Y cone as a base, mm -hmm. or your pliers, anything. Mm. Okay. Hold your spiral on the top and gently, gently, one by one, because we've done it so tight, you see. <laughs> this bit is fiddly. I do it like that. There. And then you can get your pliers into that top one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Holding the, the spiral as you pull. And then each one will come out. It's like a pop-up Christmas tree. It is like a pop-up Christmas tree. Like that. And then you can space those out equally or you can have different distances. Mm. Like that. And then we do the same method as we did with that, but fill. Um, the, and also, of course, you haven't got a head pin that's that long. No. So you need to cut a piece the right length, ish. I'm very, I'm a very ish person. I don't measure. No. I do it all by eye. <laughs> okay. Um, go down through the top again. Okay, make your simple loop on the top, which is where you, you tie your, your ribbon. And I have got ribbon coming up. Oh, goody, goody. I love ribbon. There we go. Simple loop on the top. Um, put your gemstones on to f either fill it up or just put one or two. Is that still one mil those gemstones are going on? Yeah, yeah, I've tried it wow. on one, two, five. And? Goes through. Not all of them, I'm granted, but it goes through. The one mill does go through all of them. Fab. Yeah. Yeah. Those are in the kit at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so just put as many as you want on there. But of course, we haven't got anything to stop them falling off the bottom. So now we need to learn how to make your own head pin. Uh, yes. Yes, head pin. <laughs> <laughs> Not eye pin, yeah, head pin. Okay, so we're going to utilise that spiral that we've just found out about but we're not going to go so far I'm going to do a little loop cut off the very very end of it again so that it will make a proper round and not a P mm -hmm. and I'm going to go round once or twice don't need to go very far. You need to go as far as the less than the width of your gemstone. 
So there's my gemstone. And the spiral's going to fit inside it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then put your pliers halfway across that spiral. And the wire that you're working on, push upwards against your pliers. So we've made almost a stand. Mm -hmm. Then bring that straight wire so that it comes halfway across, mm -hmm. like that. Then put your pliers back on halfway and bend it back up again. And there you've made the stand that your gemstone is going to sit on. Fab. Just like that. Bob on. And that way, then you can bring in the, the rest of the, the big coil, take it to the centre and attach it. And that's going to make, make it sturdy as well, And make it sturdy, yeah. Attach it just behind that head pin that you've just made. Just hold it in place. And there you go. There's a very quick Christmas tree decoration. Isn't that lovely? I love that. And yeah, that's in the middle. you can make it any size, shape. Any size, any you know, shape. Like length or whatever also, that you want. I think it's a, you know, it's coming up when you've got to think of ideas. What are my kid, kids going to do mm. while I'm trying to rush around getting all the presents wrapped and everything else? There's a little craft that you could teach so them how to do. Yeah. £12.50 for a kit? It's amazing, isn't it? Should be in £26.35. So well that. done, you bargain hunters, and thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you. Karen, that's beautiful, Rebecca. Oh, thank you, Karen. Gorge, right? Oh, Gorgeous. Thank you for your message, Karen. We've got a lot to get through in half an hour to get through it, says Liam. What colour Ooh. would you like me to start with? Oh, they're all together, are they? I said what? I did, yes, pop it. I'm trying to be speedy. He's not listening, is he? No, no, you're right. <laughs> Let's start off now with your baby blue. Oh, blue. Now, this is perfect, perfect. colour. For so much we've brought you today. Have a look. Double-sided with the satin. That means sheen on both sides. Mm. This is the perfect colour for some of the elements we've had on today, for example. Ooh, yes. But also the opal that we brought to you as well. 195. That's for 20 metres. You know what I'm going to ask you? He's got his calculator out already. 10 p a metre approximately. 10p per meter. Now that's incredible actually because genuinely I have bought ribbons £1.50, sometimes 2 99 per meter. Yeah, right, yes. they'll be thicker and more elaborate, but you can pay a lot. 10 pence per meter is incredible. It is. And that colour is so beautiful. It's going to go with so much. Loads of you in on this one. Um, great for hanging, we were thinking, great weren't we? Great for hanging, great for necklaces. Um, as Crochet. an alternative for, for a chain. Not everybody likes to wear a chain. Good point. Um, but as a, a mixed media chain, mm. you can still get a wider link chain yeah. and thread that through to make a creative pattern in it. Yeah. Um, I've got the lilac colour now coming up for you. This is so dainty and delicate and it's here. It's really pretty. Let me grab it out for you. Have a look. Oh, it's lovely. That's pretty, isn't it? Isn't it? Very mother of the bride, very bridesmaids. Yes. Lilac mist, we've called this. 20 meters, yet again, same price. Should we do it? Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Macrame with this, crochet with this, knit with this even. Let me yes, show you how you much could. you're getting. Yeah. And that goes to how far it goes. That is a lot of meter, Richard. And remember, you can use sewing machine on this as well if you want to. Yes. It's absolutely and completely up to you what you do with this. Yeah. Goes great with the baby bloom that I've just brought you. And also, if you want to go a bit more vintage, I've got this colour. Just imagine plaiting those. Yeah, definitely. Dead easy. Three strand plait. Not like anything You can elaborate. use wire with it as well. You can stitch through the, the length of the ribbon with the wire and then ruche the wire up and you've got a ruffle. 
Great idea. And there's plenty there to do yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Love that idea. Um, yeah, you could do so much with this. And as we said, like your three-stranded plat, you know, you're going to create um, like lovely little friendship bracelets. But also oh, yes. simple bases for like your wishes, your wish bracelet, your yes, charms, etc. Yes, um, Mikey B's message there is saying, hi all, Rebecca, lovely work, sweetheart, with the chalcedony slash opal. Try gunmetal wire, it looks fabulous. Yes, uh, gunmetal is one of my favourite colours, I love it. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're right, it would go beautifully with the greys. Perfect, I'm going to give that a go as soon as, well not as soon as I get home, because that will be two o'clock in the morning, but... <laughs> The tomorrow, next day. Tomorrow. Because <laughs> I've still got all this out on, on my worktop. Do you? You're still yes. making, making, making. Yeah. Are you one of those people that when, when you're in the midst of making something, if you're kind of still going with it, you can't then pack it all away? No, I can't. No, no I have you have to. Yes, I do. Yes, I do get to sticking points yeah. with some things when I do walk away and come back the next day. Yeah. And I'll, I'll come back fresh to it. Yes. I do get sticking points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. No tidying it up in between. I have been known to work until three o'clock in the morning on a piece because I can't leave it. Yes. And those sometimes are the most exciting makes, yes, aren't they? Like. This is the one I'm bringing to you now. It's your latte. I think you would be hard pushed to actually buy a latte for one ninety five. One ninety nine in uh, the Golden Arches, oh, apparently. You one ninety nine at the Golden so. Arches, which is a bargain. It is a bargain. Still four p more. Yeah. Not going to last you as long as this, is it? What's the maximum amount of time you get to get your laughing gear around a latte? You know what I mean? Twenty mins before it's absolutely Baltic freezing. Twenty mins is a bit of a push, isn't it? What latte has ever lasted twenty minutes? No, because it's not as hot when they come from the kettle. No. You're right. You're right. They make perfect little antique roses. Yes, absolutely perfect. Yeah. One, sorry, one pounds and 95 pence for you today. One pound 95 for you today. And that's 20 metres worth. So those are perfect for these. We have mm. got one more, but we don't have the sample. It's the navy blue colour. Ooh. Oh, I'll get it off on my iPad, will I? Hang on. Gives two ticks. Gives two ticks. Read us out that code. That is so bizarre. XIGP56. XIGP56. Got it. It's 3 95 mine says. Oh, but we're doing it for one ninety five. so... There, it's just changed. Here it is. Navy blue. I'll zoom in with the power of my mind. Zoom in! There you go. That's beautiful. It's lovely, that, isn't it? Very royal blue. Navy. Zoom it's out lovely. with the power of my mind now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Stop! Stop being ridiculous. Um, I am bringing it to you. It did just say 395, but now it is 195. Lovely. Great to go just with all of this. They go with every single colour. The they're gemstones. They're in these gemstones. That's every fab. single one of those goes with all of these gemstones. That's fab. Look that. at that. Look at that. And the, and the, and the green on the brown. Yeah. Oh. Oh, love them. They work really well. Don't they? And the orange on... I don't think I can squeeze... Well, I can. I can squeeze it in. Balanced. Yeah. That looks great. And hey, the yellow, hey, Oh, look at well, that spring. What about this for the orangey and yellow one? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Should we do this now? Old gold. We're going to bring it to you again at 195. It is 20. Oh, as my well. gosh. Yeah, me too. But the... The rainbow and that flash that comes through, it's just so surprising. Mm. But it's such a beautiful hue. And as I say, it's rain mostly it's blues, but you do get the greens and the pinks coming through as well. Totally right. Every colour of the rainbow. 
13 pounds 95 for you today grab them whilst you can on that one um as i say you know you're getting a great quality it is entirely natural just as a reminder so if you do fancy grabbing it do be quick um keep dialing and moving on we've got to go quite quick Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, my boxes go up to 24, so give me two ticks. They are probably being here. <gasps> oh, I love this strand. Right, first off, straight on. <gasps> Just look like nice little delicate bars. Oh, they But look, mm. look at that! Perfect nice bars, or are they? Look at those. These are perfect for earrings because yes, definitely. if you're considering um, wearing these, you could do it in two different ways. Pop a sterling silver head pin through there. Make mm. your own butterfly back. You've got yeah. yourself a little dangle coming from a stud earring, but that goes straight into the lobe, if that makes sense, straight into the piercing. Yes. But also, if you're imagining wearing these as an earring, if you're imagining them sort of sideways on like this, so this is the full sort of face of them, you're going to get that line at the front, but as you turn your head, you're going to get that full visual mm. of the garnet, which is brilliant because of how much purple's within this. Let me turn it again. It's beautiful. That's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? It's almost Rajasthan garnet, is it? Uh, Mozambique. From. Mozambique. Mozambique. That colour is divine. This is in your daylight simulator, this bit here, remember. We are bringing to you the full strand, and this is high-end luxury quality, to be able to get that amount of, of vista on these, if you will, is incredible. Multi-purchases in on this, well done, one and all. That is an astonishing price point for what we're bringing. You know, especially considering it's the natural variety, it's the purple variety. You have to get this home to appreciate it. If I just show you it against a red gemstone, just to prove to you, mm. you know, how incredibly purple that is. Ooh, special, juicy. special. Well done, everyone. I've got to leave it with you because I have got a lot more to fit in. Let's bring some gargantuan. Let's look at each one of these. I love yes. strands where they're all different. Yes, I do. Everyone's got their own character. Yes. What, what what do these make you sort of think of as a as a designer, Rebecca? They they wire up straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You could either do a framing wrap mm -hmm. using a, a one mil to create a frame around the edge, mm -hmm. and then an inner frame, and attach them at the corners. Like so that. you're showing the whole gemstone but they're securely set in there. Yeah. So it's an, it's an alternative to a prong set. That's a nice really. idea, that. And you're not hiding loads no, then, No, you're not you? hiding a lot, yeah. Mm. Because of the shape of these, you, you could still prong set them, but because they are rounded at the front and back as well, um, it's, it's more not as easy to do a prong, pure prong set. No, absolutely not. I have got for you here your wonderful quality of that agate meets the court. All individual, all unique, all substantial, all for £12.95. It keeps telling a story. It keeps drawing on. And for reversible jewellery, you're absolutely yes, happy as Larry on a Friday night, aren't you? I mean, that, I think, is what makes these versatile and exciting to work yeah. with. And I do love that idea of the sort of... Um, or you could, working with it. Oh, just thinking back to that black spinel we had earlier on. Oh, which You could one? do a tassel, the, the chips. Yes, the long chips, You could chips, do a, yeah. a, a chip tassel coming from the bottom of that. Chip-tastic. Yeah, I love that idea. They are so unique and versatile. Okay, I've got to move on. Which one? No problem. Let me bring you some rose quartz right now. Wow. The pillow shape's a really nice shape because I know this, oh, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm sticking with it. <laughs> when you think of a pillow, you think of comfort, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do, you think of comfort. Yeah. You think about that cool, cold, crisp evening, and you think about 
crawling into bed and resting your head on a nice comfy pillow. You think about first thing in the morning when your head's resting on a pillow. I can't wait to be back with you later, sweet pea. Mm. Don't we? We do. Is what we think. Yeah, we do. That's what we think of. I know it sounds silly, but I think this shape feels comfortable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no angles to this. It's smooth. It's soft. Even the way that the colour is naturally occurring in this is soft. Even that glow. And as you can see, sort of around these areas, the way the light um, plays with them is quite soft, brilliant. Yeah. Everything about them feels it lovely is. and soft and comforting, yeah. I and think. And yet it's still something that can lay flat enough against your skin. Agreed. That it's not going to get knocked by other things, like some, some of the bigger rounds would do. So true. So you've still got that boldness of that colour there mm. in a bigger piece yeah but it's not protruding sitting up from you from your wrist you're totally right i was going to grab my ruler of truth out then but i've not got time but just as an idea these aren't even you know oh you're such a star oh is this a shatterproof i love a shatterproof yes. one. <laughs> oh, i do i think they make great noises see the depth on that is only around about what would you say four five mil yeah, do you know what I mean? That. On the actual depth. Yeah. So they're not too big, are they? No, but they not. look so big on yeah. the side. Thank you for that. <laughs> you shatter that. <laughs> it won't happen. There's won't. memories in that ruler. Oh, it won't. Don't you worry. Shatterproof. <laughs> Next up, I've got for you a big, 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 big amount of something that I think you're going to love. <laughs> mm hmm. <gasps> As you're feeling bling, festive. Bling, bling. Oh, look, look, What do you think of them? Oh they've, oh, they've got the bale on the back. Hidden. Hidden Secret. bale, you can't see it. Perfect for it. Then you've got three in the set. So you've got <laughs> earrings and a pendant straight away. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Pop them on, like the chain, say, that we had um, in the kit. I don't know if it'll go through without the pliers. Yeah, there oh, you are. Got Look at that. Yeah. Hey, voila. Yes. Done. Oh, that is lovely. I mean, I need a clasp, but I've got a clasp in that kit, haven't I? Teacher's present straight away. Yeah. Three of them, you get him, yeah. for £4.95. What do you think? They don't, oh, but yeah, nobody would think that if you gave them that as a gift, that that's all you pay for it. It's incredible, isn't it? They're beautiful. I'll show you them all the way around, eh? So you can see it's a nice big bale on there. I think that's stunning. Four pounds ninety-five. Hang on, I've caught that right in there now. Get it? Gently does it. Oh, that's weird. Hang on, uh, it's on the wrong angle. There you go. I think that's a brilliant, brilliant price, and they look so expensive. Yeah. There's a ring. Frozen inspired ring. Don't mind if I do. Is that out yet? The new frozen. I think it's, it's the twenty-second. Next Friday. So as, a, as a souvenir of taking your little girl or your little boy to see Frozen. Perfect. Souvenir for them afterwards. Yes. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. £4.95. Are you and your whole family going to go and see Frozen together, Kerry? No, it's you and B Diddy will go with your friend. And then, and then will your parents go and see it separate or are they not as into it as you? They'll watch it when it comes out on DVD. Okay, next up I'm going to do the rose gold, okay? Let me show you. I've, do you like... You love silver. I love silver. Yeah. Silver and copper are my go-tos. And rose gold. <laughs> <laughs> this has got quite a coppery Isn't rose gold colour to it, it though, has. hasn't it? Which is why I thought to show you. Yeah. This really juxtaposes with the beautiful, crisp, clean white colour of it? the Cupid Zirconia. So I think it stands out more. It does stand out more. Yeah, in the silver ones, it looked like the whole thing. Yeah. But in here, you can actually it's see framing, the CZs. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. That's Again, beautiful. hidden bale at the back, £4.95. It's rose gold plating over the top of this base metal. And it's your cubic zirconia that you've got in there. And boy, there's a fair amount in there as well, let's be totally honest. There's a lot of cubic zirconia I'm within to count there. A bit. I can't. One, two, three. There's three in each one. It's approximately so one, three in two, each one, is there? Three, four in each prong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, That's twenty-four. Funny, isn't it? Wow. Four pounds and, and ninety-five pence on that one for you. Sticking with Cubic Zirconia. Yes, Let's go. With this clasp. 
Oh, multi strand. Imagine. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. This is so good for your multi-use. So good pairing those together. Yeah. And imagine, for example, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Imagine, you know the um, zircon I did before? Imagine doing like a line of zircon or a line of pearls or whatever. Yeah. And, and you've got the opportunity to add five on there. But say on the top one, you have one of these. The middle one, you have one of these. The, the bottom one, you have one of these. Mm. Different lengths. Kind of look yeah. lovely, isn't it? It is. It's going to look smashing. You've or, got, you, or you make a multi-strand multi bracelet. But yeah. That is the middle one. And then mm. those coming off as charms. That's a great idea. Um, where you go, £4.95 is your price on that one. I'll show you all the way around it. Quickly. I've never heard Liam say, this is a bit of all right, but I like it, it suits you. He said it about the tiger's eye. Ooh. I like a, a tiger's eye at the best of times, but I love micro facets, mm, as I, I know you are a fan yeah. of as well. What would you do with this one, please? Um, I'd add it onto my original pendant. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Let me show you that. See, I've got four mil on there. Can you yeah. imagine the difference that would put onto there? Yeah. You'd have a lot more sparkle onto serious it. Serious sparkle, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, serious. And you get more, more of the, the different colours within the tiger's eye as well. On that. On the, on the micro facet. You get more of the golden mm. gold coming through. Mm. 5.95 all of those beautiful golden hues all completely natural and all micro fasted serious amount of skill a serious amount of skill I, I feel for them in their eyesight cutting mm. those mm. they get to a point when they've been doing it for a very long time where they literally don't even really have to look at it it's well, a little yeah, bit like nature, if I gave I suppose, you a pen now and I said don't look but write your own name you'd be able to yeah, I can move. do that with either hand I'm <gasps> That's incredible. <laughs> I had to, I wasn't. I was na I'm naturally right-handed. Right. But I broke my arm so oh many times days. when I was younger. I had to learn how to use my and now I can and use now both. you can do both. Yeah. Which for jewellery making is fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You're your own handy handy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Five pounds ninety-five for you today on this one. Don't forget if you love delicate and um, beautiful gemstones um, and you want to keep it high end tomorrow, um, plenty of goodies coming up for you, including that amber one to own and also flex right. Mm, number seven. Okay, I've got four yeah. Oh, it's time already. Okay, Ooh. let me bring to you something which just looks so expensive when we think about your city or your high street. I'm going to bet you 60% of you will say that your local city will have this shop on the high street. It's a well-known name. It's a big, big brand. It's coming for you right now. I am bringing to you now Swarovski. Liam went past the Swarovski shop. They're well swanky, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they really are. Genuinely. The one in Las Vegas is ridiculous. The one in Las Vegas, you can see uh, like for miles around. It is it's, it's over the top, it's avant-garde. Mm. You cannot move for crystals. There is this huge sculpture outside of it, which literally you can see for like miles around. Swarovski is a big, well-known brand. It's a big, well-known name. Your local city is more than likely going to have a Swarovski store in it. Um, Chester does, Birmingham does, London does, you know, Solly Hall even, and that's, that's I say even Solly Hall, I don't mean because that's a bad place, I mean because it's not a city. 
<laughs> I mean, because it's not a city. Um, but yeah, a lot of towns do as well. Um, we have got for you here your wonderful Swarovski. And these ones are your channel. This is, sorry, is your channel chain. So essentially what we've got here is you have got around the girdle, if you will, of the Swarovski, this push set, bezel set design, which makes it very, very fluid and frames mm. every single one wonderfully. What do you like about this? I love the colour, that cyan as opposed to the light cyan that they do. Mm. It's such a deep, romantic mm. colour, if mm. you like. It's... Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Mm. But the fact that you can use that as a chain, just its own right, all you've got to do is add a clasp on the back, or mm. you can you can make dainty little ring with one piece. Yes. You could make um, a bracelet, there mm. you go. Look, you've got enough of three bracelets with your mm. tiny wrist. <laughs> <laughs> are they tiny? <laughs> they, yeah, I know, I've are. heard you say it before. But yeah, no, they are. Yeah. Like sparrows. <laughs> yeah, or you could use them as accents between different gemstones. In a, like we had the um, amethyst on earlier, those long, those long yes. pieces. Yes, had them as the bits in between. There's so much, There's so much you can do Genuinely. with it. Genuinely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You don't bit. just use it as a chain like that. Mm. You don't have to. Yeah. Twelve ninety-five. Only twelve ninety five for fifty centimeters today of your wonderful Swarovski. It's going to go beautifully with your purples. It's going to go beautiful with your peak colours. It's going to go wonderfully with absolutely anything really. It's only anyway, absolutely wonderful, really. Twelve pounds ninety five for you. Goes brilliant with them. Absolutely wonderful. Keep if open. you do fancy grabbing your hands on it, then we have got the opportunity for you to do so today. 0800 644 655 and um, press option one. And also you can join us at jewelrymaker.com. You can also download and tap the app tap if you so app. wish. You're it, you're an app. Tapper, I am an app tapper. I am. It's mm. a, quite often quicker, <laughs> actually. Mm. Mm. Yeah, don't know why. I'm not technologically okay. minded, but I do like it. Yeah. Loves a bit of the app. Smooth, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was really on air then, but don't worry. Uh, let me bring to you today your amethyst. I love amethyst, it's a birthday. Because I love it so much, I'm a little bit picky about it yeah. because I've been, you know, I've known Amethyst since I was near to a grasshopper, so I, I'm a little bit picky. So I like to be wowed by my Amethyst. I'm going to respect and enjoy Amethyst anyway, but I like it when it stands out to me. And this strand does that because I'm a ring girl. I, <laughs> not oh, like not one of those girls shape. who stands in a boxing <laughs> ring. <laughs> Round three <laughs> in a bikini. No one needs to see that. Oh. No one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that kind of ring girl. I am a girl who loves wearing rings, and this is the perfect shape for it. We've not yeah. had that cut for months. Ages and ages, it's right? My, my, oh, I love that cut. Straight away. Perfect round, bottom yeah. cut. Oh, what are you whipping up there? I'm um, base for a ring. Oh, I love it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You put your... Put the, the put your base, gemstone. your gemstone base in there, like that, so it holds it. Yeah. Then you bring your wire up and around the very edge of the top, yeah. and your ring set and secure. Et voila. And that's Done. it. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. You don't have to faff around with little. Let's find out then. how many rings I, I could get. Got, Two, no, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Who's <gasps> <20. gasps> 36 approximately. That's incredible. About 36 pence each. 36p each. I mean, really. That's stunning, isn't it? It is beautiful. And it's so dark. It's such I an intense love... purple. Yeah. It's truly Zambian, isn't it? Yeah. It's my favourite. Absolutely, truly Zambian. 
look at these in between. No one's going to believe what we're about to do on these. If you're watching on the repeat, what is it? you need to check out on these real quick. Lovely lanterns of metal work with oh. the loop on top. We're going to bring the graphics in and the price in. Whilst we're doing it, Rebecca, it's been a pleasure for our first show together. And you. Really has really thank you so it. much. Oh, thank good. You. When are you on next? Um, what day? I'm on the 27th this is my next one. Oh, perfect. 27th yes. of Nov. Yeah, that's right. Last deal of the afternoon, 30p, but check out before eight, and you do get four, five of those ones. We have got so much to come for you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to be doing the deal of the day, which is that incredible amber. We have also got coming up for you tomorrow, um, at five o'clock mega deals, gemstones, and sterling wire. For now, though, have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Fourteenth of November for Simon's Picks, so I'll be on for most of the morning show and most of the mid show. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is where I bring some of the lowest ever prices we've had on the product. Uh, it's not clearance; it's perfectly good stock, uh, so it really is just an opportunity to get a fantastic deal, even more than usual. And with Christmas coming up, why not come and make the most of the opportunity? So come and join me, Simon, on Thursday, the fourteenth of November.